Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? What's going on? We got Bing Bong. We got Reaper Kitty, Azzy, Matt, Mysterious Leech, Dark Fairy, Effexor. What's going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you all. It's been a couple days. It's uh, been a couple days, hasn't it? Yo, Matt, what's going on? How's your day been going? What's everybody been up to? Yo, JDV, what's going on? Thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. Aw, wonderful to see you again. It's so nice to see you again too, Azzy. I am so excited to be back into this world, hanging out with you all. Um, I took like two full days off uh, yesterday and the day before. Me and Big Tiny Duck hung out. I feel like my voice is starting to go again. I feel like I might... I honestly think I'm worn out. I don't even think I have a little bit of a cold. I think I'm just really, really tired from the past two days because we went to a show and then we had um, my cousins and my sister over the other day. So we were just really busy and I'm very tired because I, I, I am so used to going to bed early, <laughs> but we were going to bed late. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired now. Yo, X, thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. Yo, JDV, what's going on? Welcome on in. How are you doing? Kinda, welcome on in as well. Same with Boxy. What's going on? You're okay. You're just getting some work done. Nice. Yo, Mr. Beardstone. Thank you so much for that follow. What is going on? So nice to be back. So in the last stream, we worked on this greenhouse together. And I, I love it. I really, really love it. So I had to fix up the redstone a little bit. Um, It's not perfect. But see, you can still see like some of the bottles. They like... They just go whoosh, they go flying but it's a little bit better i had to move the flowers in front here with hoppers underneath and then get a water stream going but if you look we do have like a supply of stuff coming in and i already started like moving some of it over to here so we are getting stuff out of the bee farm and i just keep breeding them honestly i just keep breeding them and like letting them fly around they're chilling they're chilling and it's a good time and it's such a cute little area i really love how it turned out it's super cute like there's two bees right now i wonder if we can uh breed them really quickly hello what about you yes let's go is there a fourth bee no okay that's okay see we got ourselves tons of little bee friends it's amazing i love it it's so cute so yeah, that's what we worked on in the last stream. And I think today we're going to do some uh, stuff around the wool farm. I'll show you all in a second. Yo, Angela, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Love this little greenhouse. It's so cute. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, I really, I, I love how it turned out. And I love this little pond that we did with like the smoky water. Little steamy, steamy water. We still got to get Scooch over here. Yo, Glub, how are you doing today? Candy Buffet, welcome on in as well. How are you all doing? and sophisticated gamer welcome on in oh my gosh so many people what's going on everything lo is looking so pretty thank you thank you i love how it's turned out so far especially this farmland it's really starting to come together we even um i did like a little fly over this way i'll show you let me just like f3 but just look at the pathing i'm kind of obsessed with how the pathing's turned out how we have like the main stone path kind of like revolving around this circle and then you have like all the dirt paths that are starting to connect to one another we added in this dirt path behind the windmill as well the other day i think it looks super super fresh so if we keep working on this area i think it's going to turn out really good it's just one step at a time however i think today we're going to kind of um shift our focus to this area a little bit because i mean it does need a little bit of love so I figured what we can do is remember how we woo, we kind of laid out a little bit of an idea for how we want this to look. My mind is blanking right now. The water line, the water line. So we have like a nice little like kind of template that we can kind of follow along all the way around the edge here and stuff like that. We're probably going to have to remove this like lava pit. I just don't think that it fits in theme with what we're going for. So this is going to be kind of like the um, really cute, like small little farmland that we have. And I figured that this would be like, I mean, let's be real. It's still going to end up looking very cottage core in some ways, but it's going to like be a little bit bigger in terms of builds and scale and stuff like that. So I figured we can make it look a little bit nicer with like some stone pathing. Um, we can terraform it a little bit. We can get like a nice water line going. That water line's probably going to stay looking like really rugged and messy. 
I would still love to throw like cobblestones and stuff like that, like still terraform it. But this is going to look a little bit more neat. You know what I mean? That looks swag. Heck yeah. Thank you, Reaper Kitty. Thank you. Thank you. Hope my day is well. Thank you so much, KK. Uh, my day is going really good. Just woke up. I've been chilling, getting stuff ready for this stream today, and I've been having a really good time. So, so excited to join on your lunch hour. Heck yeah. I hope you're having a, a good lunch. You're going on a mini vacation. Oh, a boxy. I hope you have a very, very good vacation. But thank you so much for popping in. We need to uh, drift proof the land. Exactly. The amount of times that we have almost walked into that lava when we were hanging out in this area, it was it was far too many times. So I think you're right where we need to uh, drift proof the land a little bit. And I think also, I think we talked about it last time where maybe we should maybe add some like andesite or something to this stuff. We'll see. Let me go over and grab, well, I have all my shulker boxes, but we have tons and tons of stone in our inventory and probably a lot of like andesite and all that stuff. So let's grab some of that. So that's kind of like the project for today, but also in my title, I say villager stuff, which I would like to do as well. The whole point of me kind of like shifting my focus over to that area is I would like to get a villager breeder over there, especially because that side of like our, um, that side of the island or whatever has the village where we're going to be taking the villagers from. So it'll be a lot easier to contain it there. And honestly, whenever I make villager breeders, like they end up being a lot bigger just because like the amount of surface area you need for them. And I like to kind of enclose them. It's going to be quite a bit, right? So let's just do that for now. Actually, let's just grab all the stone. Why not? So we got all of this stone. We've got these bricks. Bum, 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 bum. I think we're going to need a stone cutter. Heck yeah, we are. We love our stone cutters. And then I did grab a bunch of andesite this morning before stream, so that should be okay. Let's grab all of that. Maybe we'll blend it in a bit. And then I also went to our little, not little, that lush cave, um, by the spruce forest and I grabbed us some extra moss because we might need it today. So I think those are the materials that we're going to start with. And then if we get to the um, villager breeder and all that stuff, that's great too. But let's just, uh, let's get, just keep it chilly for now, you know? Yo, KK, what's going on? Welcome on in. I realize there's two people I'm calling KK in chat. So I'm going to call you K89 and you kk there we go that that makes more sense your mom gave you a pair of socks and they're so tight oh no i hate that feeling too also the another feeling that i really don't like is when your socks in the winter are just like a tad bit too short and you can feel like the breeze of the cold air against your ankles big no big no for me it's so uncomfortable i hate it I think we got to be real with ourselves, though. I think I need to get a couple of chests, though. I have a feeling that we might be in a situation today where we're going to have some chest monsters. But I'll have you all know I did clean up the old chest monsters from the greenhouse. It's all put away. It's all put away. So. Boop. All right, let's go get some extra chests. It's okay if we make chest monsters. It's totally fine. It's part of the process as long as we clean them up. And you know what? I did I did a pretty good job the other day cleaning them up. Like we had a we had a pretty big one from the greenhouse. And look at this. All gone. All gone. So we're good to go. Doesn't like, uh, your daughter doesn't like the feeling of jeans and leggings. I feel that. I feel that. It's so funny now that, um, baggy jeans are back in style, though. Like, that's what I used to wear all the time because I, like, growing up in, like, the 90s, 2000s. But, like, I almost can't get used to that now because I was so used to wearing, like, kind of tighter, skinnier jeans after that. So now I'm, like, making the change back into like really baggy jeans i'm like oh my gosh this feels so different i'm not used to it mm. 
Okay, so let's grab some of our stone and all that stuff. And let's see if the andesite will mix in well with this pathing. I don't know if we need it per se. Like, we already have three types of like blocks and stuff. Um, let's see if it. I don't know. This thing is like going to be primarily stone bricks. I don't know if the andesite works with it, to be honest. I think maybe if I had this like, like more, more so 90% stone and then a couple stone bricks, it'd be different, but I don't know if we need it. I don't know. I don't think so, chat. I wanted to try it anyway, just to be sure, but I kind of like it the way it is. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay, I'm going to make a bunch of stone bricks. The one thing I want to get better at, so this is like a good test for me, is doing like water lines and stuff like that. I'm not good at doing like the very structured ones. I'm okay when it comes to like a water line that is a little bit more organic and stuff with like a stony shore and like some beaches and stuff, but things that are a little bit more structured, I'm not the greatest at. So this will be like a, a good, uh, good lesson for me, I think. Let's get some more mossy stone bricks. That should be good for now. And I think we're ready to go with that. So basically what we did the last time was we started off with an idea like this, where the bricks are going to sit one, two, and I think max three height or no, that's a slab. So one, two, three. Okay. That makes sense. I think if anything, the first thing that we should do is probably start filling in this little area right here and filling it to the sheep farm. This is going to take a lot of a uh, lot of stone, but that's OK. We got quite a bit. And we can always stone is easy to mine, you know. So I think the mix is that we're going to be doing primarily stone bricks and then mixed in with a little bit of stone here and there for like an alternate texture. You know what I mean? Drop a water bucket over the lava so it's safe for now. So that's actually a good idea. But what I think we're going to do before we do that is, you know what? Maybe we should just mine it for um for some obsidian. That's a good that's a good shout. So let's do that. Get rid of it. Yo, Huey, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Boop. There we go. Yo, Srep, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing today? How you doing? Blah. Scary. Bad. No, thank you. Might as well grab this obsidian. I don't know. We might need it for something, you know? I figured. What are we building? So today we are going to be um, kind of working on the area around the sheep farm. We're going to work on the shoreline. And then also, I would like to get a villager breeder started today as well. <clears throat> Love how fast I get sidetracked. Oh, immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Completely. It's like... Oh, I forgot I mentioned this one task. Let's go over here now. And then it's just like things just devolve into chaos from there. Obsidian for a nether base. Ooh, oof. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Nether is not my friend. Not my friend at all. So I think I mentioned in the last stream that um, my cat Ruth was not feeling great the other day. I felt so bad she had... Like, she just kept sneezing, and she just wouldn't stop, and, I, like, she got that last year. I think it was kind of, like, allergies or something like that, so we ended up taking her to the vet yesterday, but it was one of those things where <clears throat> she woke up, and I could tell that she was already feeling so much better, but we took her anyway, just in case. Thankfully, she doesn't have to go on any antibiotics and stuff, because they took her temperature. She's still eating fine. She has a normal temperature. She's all good, 
But and she's honestly a lot more active today than she was the other day. So what about the nether bricks? I know those sweet, sweet bricks. Sweet bricks. Dog, no. She's uh she's my kitty. I think she had a little bit of a little bit of a kitty cold. Um But we took her in, she's all good. The vet was like, Do you have any other questions? And I was like, I do actually. Is um how is Ruth like all healthy in regards of like everything else just like overall like i was like is she a healthy weight and the vet was like no <laughs> i was like oh no so we gotta um we have to make sure like we gotta change up the her portions for food and stuff like that and make sure she's still active once she's feeling better though i'm not gonna make this poor girl like race around when she's getting over a little bit of a cold but she's feeling better though she's feeling better but she's got to go on a little bit of a kitty diet <laughs> Your kitty has goopy eyes and is sneezing. Oh no, that's exactly what was happening to Ruth. Her eyes were um getting all like, they weren't like wet and goopy the whole time, but she definitely wasn't feeling the greatest. And she was like a little bit lethargic. That's what was worrying me. But I think she's pretty much gotten over it now. She seems a lot better. Yo, old G, what's going on? Welcome, welcome in, welcome in. You have the flu? Yeah, it seems like everybody is not feeling well at the moment. It's brutal, like uh, so many people in chat even. And honestly, like I'm feeling, I think it's just me having a busy last couple of days, but even I'm feeling like a little bit under the weather today. Yo, James, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? Okay, we got these last two pieces. We might as well just grab them. Grab this coal, cause why not? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a bunch of dirt, I think, to cover in some of these uh, holes. You have a sore throat. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everybody who's not feeling great feels better soon, because it, it definitely seems like everybody's getting hit at the same time. Definitely. Okay, let's fly over to the base really quickly. We're going to grab a little bit of dirt. Boop. Ow. That was not a soft landing, but should be good. I don't know what to do with all that dirt I have. I have so much. So, so much. Okay, let's cover this up really quickly. I do my best to try and cover up like any of the holes that we create just because it's like, I don't know. It's like peace of mind, I guess. I always un underestimate, well, I mean, I underestimate everything chat, but like just how much dirt it requires to like fill holes and stuff like that. I never grab enough. I feel like I should make like a mud farm or something. I looked into them. They're not too, too complicated. They do require you kind of like just sitting there and grinding away with it, but like they, they don't look that bad. Yo, HG, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Go to about there because I think this might end up getting ripped up into stone. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. all right, let's put the rest away so it's out of our inventory. Boop, boop, up, and don't need this bucket right now. I think we're good. <clears throat> got my tea today, I've got a peppermint tea. It will be a boon in whatever massive um, terraforming project you may do. That's so true because it's always like the the temptation just to get rid of the dirt because you're like, what am I ever going to need this for? But you're right. As soon as you do a terraforming project, you're like, well, that's what I need it for. Also, welcome on in, Frosty. I hope you're having a good day. Creeper holes become ponds. Yeah, that's what Azzy suggested. And I think that is like a very like beautiful, poetic thing to do with uh, 
with creeper holes is just turn them into something nice, you know? Yo, Ghosty Kitten, thank you so much for that follow. Honestly, it's like the projects like these, like the waterfront projects that like, it's not that they make me nervous, but I'm always scared to start them because I'm scared they're not going to look good. But the only way to get better is just to keep trying with them, right? There. So if we get all of this connected to um, at least the sheep farm for now, I think it'll already start looking a lot better. And I figured we could basically wind the stone path to about here and stop for now. That's what I'm thinking, if we can make it that far. Can turn the creeper holes into meteor craters. Ooh, I like that too. That's, that's kind of spooky. I love it. That is cool. And it makes sense. I feel like that fits uh, really well in theme with the whole creeper thing. Yo, Pori, what's going on? Welcome on in. How are you doing? How's your day going? How is your day going? Okay. So I guess maybe we'll go to about here for now on this side, just so we're not reaching out too far and using a ton of resources. So the idea is I think we're gonna have about three, two to three high for the wall. And let's just expand this all the way to here. Yeah, I think something like that is probably good. So we're just going to fill this wall in kind of like just follow the edge of this path or whatever we've made basically and then I'll worry about maybe like chipping away at it to make it look a little bit nicer <laughs> afterwards but I think for now just having like a little bit of a foundation will kind of help significantly so I can see exactly what we're doing with it. Maybe Minecraft should add meteors so we could get, get a special rare space stone. That would be awesome. Especially if the meteor or something like that was, um, it was like a rare event within the game. Like it didn't happen too often. And if you could find it, because it could like imagine if it could drop anywhere on your map and you have to go like find it. That would be really cool. Perfect. Yeah, I think something like this is going to work. We're also going to need basically a little like stone pathway going up to this. So we're going to have to make some slabs. Yo, colorful water. Thank you so much for that follow. So let's do something like this. Grab a couple of these guys. I would also like to make like some cute looking like flower beds and like little gardens, like more fancy gardens um, that will have like trees and stuff like that. I think it would look super, super cute. You're not doing so bad. Took the child to the doctor today about a persistent cough and spent most of the afternoon and evening resting up. Whole household is exhausted. Oh, I can imagine. Well, I hope they're um, on the upswing of whatever they're... Uh, Whatever they've got going on right now. We were just talking in chat about um, everybody feeling kind of under the weather. So I definitely hope they're feeling a lot better soon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Where's the center point of this? Oh, it's over here. Never mind. Not gonna do this. Not yet. I'll figure out the center point of that and then kind of terraform accordingly. Where's me shovel? Did I put it away? Oh no, it's right there. I can never see my tools. I'm always like, where are they? <laughs> Hot toddies are really help helpful for coughs and sore throats. I I've heard of, I've heard of those. Yes, I think I've had a couple before during like the colder weather, and they are very soothing. Haven't had one in a long time though. I forget what they're made of. What are, what's in a hot toddy again? Is it like a liqueur or something like that? And lemon or orange? I don't remember. Yo, Shroud, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing today? How you doing? The whole uh the whole crew is rolling in right now. We love to see it. We love to see it. Thought it was whiskey. It could be a splash of whiskey or something, or brandy or something like that. Black tea, cinnamon, lemon, sugar, oh, and whiskey if you want. Nice. Okay, that sounds really, like, I don't know, like it would hit the spa, especially if you're not feeling well. We're prettifying the wool farm? Yeah, pretty much. So today what we're doing is we're kind of starting to expand the path around the wool farm. And then in that general area, I'll show you quickly just so I like kind of what my idea and thought process was. So I just want to start working on the shoreline of this wool area because right now it's looking like nothing. You know what I mean? So we got rid of that lava pit. And... Basically, we're going to be adding our stone pathway around there and it will allow us to kind of get an idea of what else we could put here because one of the other things that I want in this area is a villager breeder. Now, I'm not sure <clears throat> exactly what spot, like probably honestly around here. And we can just do the same thing that we did with the farmland, like have like a dirt path leading to it. But this area is going to be where kind of our bigger farms are going to be going like kind of the same size as the wool farm just so they're a little bit more contained and not out of place and stuff like that <clears throat> so that was the general idea if we have time today i would definitely love to get started on the villager breeder we can kind of bop back and forth between the two projects you know yo nicole welcome on in how are you doing today also mama witch welcome in how are you doing how are you doing so nice to see you all What the heck is going on today? What's everybody been up to? It feels like it's still the weekend for me. I don't know why. I think um, Christmas season just kind of has that like whole vibe because everybody's all over the place. I don't know if anybody else feels the w that way about Christmas as well. I was um, I was honestly looking at the calendar this morning. And I was like, it's not that many. Like I was like, we've got tons of time until Christmas. And then I looked, I was like, wait a second. Is it like basically next week? Oh my gosh, and I had a moment of panic. I was like, I need to order my sister's gift right now. Before it does not get delivered to me in time. So I got that done this morning. Um, what else did I do? I got part of my niece's gift. I always love buying gifts for my niece. Like, honestly, I feel like I go overboard. But it's, it's so fun to buy for, like, kids who are just genuinely so excited for Christmas and stuff like that. So I got part of her gift done. Um, I always do like a mix of stuff, like whatever she's into. And then like she loves crafts. So I get her a bunch of crafts that she can do. Uh, I always get her a ton of books, whether it's just like something I think she might like or like based off of like the things that she's interested in and stuff like that. It's so much easier now that she's a little bit older because when she was younger, it was just like baby stuff you know what I mean but once they become a little bit older it's like oh she has like very specific interests in mind and I love that yo cheese thank you so much for that follow you've been panicking about um getting your brother's gift I I still kind of panic about gifts that's why I straight up just ask her now we ask each other I'm like what do you want for Christmas and she gives me a list of things to choose from and I know that like takes away the surprise but honestly like and we're both like so stressy about it and we want to get like something that they're going to enjoy. 
that like you might not spend money on yourself for. So I'm like, that's how we do it. And I, I appreciate it. <laughs> you miss the magic of Christmas. I feel that. I feel that. You're on holiday, so every day feels like a weekend for you. Oh, nice. I hope you're uh, having a good good time on holidays. And it's definitely probably well-deserved. So I'm so glad you're enjoying that time. We love to hear it. Am I putting a bridge or a dock? I think, if anything, I'm going to put a dock down. I feel like a cute boat dock would look nice. Maybe, like, on this side somewhere. Yo, Sensational Stories, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? I think uh, me and Big Tiny Duck are going to keep it pretty easy tonight for dinner. We have some frozen pizzas. <laughs> I think that's what it's going to resort to. We were so busy the past couple days that I'm like, now I'm just looking forward to having like a frozen dinner. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's just like, oh my gosh. We were just so busy and now we just want to like kick back and relax. Also, I think we were all talking about it in chat the other day. Was it Andor? The Star Wars show? I, I did start watching it, but for like 15, 20 minutes until I realized I was so exhausted. It was, um, I started watching, I think after like my second stream of the weekend and I was like I don't know if I can pay attention to this and I don't want to miss anything because I know it's going to be a good show so I ended up turning it off because I was like I don't want to I don't want to miss a bunch of stuff and then just have to rewatch it and I don't know it just it didn't feel right I feel like I need to um that show deserves like my full attention so I kind of held off on it for now and instead I started watching Futurama again and I was like oh my gosh I forgot how funny this show is it's so good so I've been watching that for the past couple of nights because it's like been really easy just to like put on the TV and I don't know. It's it's very easy to like to watch, you know. You had salmon and uh, lime cilantro rice for dinner. That sounds delicious. Yo, salmon has been like a constant in our house as well lately. Like it's just very filling if we usually get it if it's on sale because it can be quite pricey. But we usually do like salmon bowls with rice and I think like kipi mayo um sriracha and soy sauce so good you got tacos tonight nice nice tacos are a good a good one as well easy button this time of year so necessary yes that is so true that is so so true just what I, I know like i feel like a lot of people are in the same boat where it's like life is just so hectic right now where it's like you gotta have those easy options you know Your nephew's getting to that age where he actually has stuff uh, he's specifically interested in, and it's so fun to buy presents for him. You've gone totally overboard. Exactly, exactly. Because you just, like, especially when, yeah, it's like the thing with the interest. Like, you know they're excited about something, so when you, like, pick out that one thing that they're really into, and you can see, like, the joy on their face, you're like, it's so worth it. I love it. It's always so sweet. You thought salmon um, was only expensive here. We always get it on sale. Yeah, I can get pretty pricey some of the cuts of salmon. Especially, I think it's like especially expensive like where I'm from because we're like we don't live close to an ocean. So everything is like imported and stuff like that. So it can get pretty pricey. Food talk incoming anytime. We love the food talk here. Have I seen Disenchantment? It's uh, made by the same people that make disenchantment but it's medieval oh the same people that make uh futurama is that the one i think with um what's her name abby jacobson i haven't given that show a shot yet but i've i've heard good things about it like i've heard some people were like very critical of it and then others were like no it's like a really really good show that one's definitely been on my list mm. yes this is what i want I think, yeah. I 
think. So that one lines up with that beam. This one lines up with this beam. That's good to go. Sweet. Not everything has to be like perfectly in line with each other, but I'd like to at least get a couple spots where it is. Let's make a couple more stone bricks. Let's get rid of these flowers in my inventory too. Just kind of eating up space. Yo, Cookie, what's going on? Welcome on in. And I'm doing great. How are you doing? You have 13 nieces and nephews, so you have uh, to budget a bit. That makes sense. That makes sense. I've only got one, so it's like she can just be spoiled by me. But if I had 13, it would definitely be the same. Same situation for sure. Yo, Martha, thank you so much for that follow. Same with City Redneck. Thank you for that follow as well. I appreciate it. Your favorite part about the holidays is hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. I actually haven't had any yet, which makes me kind of sad. I just realized the way that this thing is like curving around, we don't really need that. Mm. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now. Never mind. We're going to leave it just for the time being because I might end up putting something there. I actually have not had a lot of hot chocolate yet this year, which makes me sad because we do have like the we were talking about it last stream, like the good packs with like arrow hot chocolate and turtles and after eight. I really love the um, I really love the after eight one, the minty one. It's so good. You and Pori bought a load of presents for your daughter and then forgot about them and bought more. Oh, <laughs> somebody's getting spoiled this year. <laughs> You'll cut back a bit on birthday presents. Yeah, especially if the birthday is so close, like a January birthday. I'm, I'm sure they'll understand. You know what I mean? Like, they're so close together. That's more than acceptable. <laughs> Same people that do The Simpsons as well. Yeah, because Futurama is, is made by Matt Groening, and I forget who else. So they do The Simpsons, they do Futurama, and I think the show Disenchanted. I heard they're bringing back Futurama too, which is pretty cool. I honestly think that they'll do it justice because honestly, like I'm the type of Simpsons fan where like I love the Simpsons, but up until a certain point of the show, like I think I only watch like seasons one through 14. I have not caught up with like anything recently just because it's it's not the same structure or anything like the stories that they kind of it's it's a bit more random i would say like i feel like they're just like throwing in cameo after cameo and just like i don't know it's hard to explain i watch you on youtube great seeing you here your streams are the chillest yo city rednecks thank you so much for the kind words and welcome on in i hope you're having a good day here comes our dirt build up so much i just threw something in here that i shouldn't have ed sheeran you come back here you are not meant to go in the chest. Not right now, anyway. Okay, we're, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. It's actually starting to look kind of cool. I like how this one's on, like... It's on, like, a little bit of an elevated platform right here, and we're working our way around. I don't know what to do with this mound of dirt, though. I was thinking of getting rid of it. Okay, let me fly out again. Or we could kind of use it as, like, a piece of natural terrain... Let's do a little pause here. So we've got this. We're probably going to have to, if anything, kind of cut into here. I think this behind the sheep farm is a little bit too much. We're going to have to flatten that out. But I kind of like this little, this little piece here. Maybe we could use it as like a piece of natural terrain, like a little waterfall into a pond. But then make it look a lot nicer in terms of like dress it up a little bit on the outside. Like it'll be like... A natural trans like natural terrain and more of like a landscaped area. Yo, thank you so much, Souls, for that follow and Norix as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm the YouTube person. Heck yeah, I'm the YouTube person. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Souls? Thank you so much for popping in. My twin bro watches you. Heck yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That makes me so happy to hear. 
Simpsons doesn't have the same genius writing style it used to. Yeah, I think it's I think what the Simpsons is missing <clears throat> nowadays is like honestly this sounds cheesy but like it's missing like it's heart and soul like i found that a lot of the episodes in the early days they make me cry like a lot of them are very touching in some ways because it's like you've got like so many characters whoa miss charlotte thank you so much for that raid what is going on we've got a raid incoming what's going on everybody thank you so much welcome on in raiders welcome on in how you all doing today how you all doing What's going on, Miss Charlotte? Thank you so so much. I really really appreciate that. How was your stream? What what was going on? I don't know if we got anybody. Um, hold on. I'm gonna give you a quick little shout out. Let's. What the heck? Sorry, I'm still very very new to doing this. But also, welcome on in, Raiders. How you doing? I need to get a big shout out for Miss Charlotte. There we go. Go on and give Miss Charlotte a follow. Oh my gosh, I just closed a dockable window. So much is happening right now. Thank you so much. No worries. Lovely to meet you. Stream was wonderful. Thank you. Oh, nice. Well, so nice to see you. Honestly, I've i've caught some of your streams before always the coziest chillest vibes so everybody please go give miss charlotte a follow you've got the cozy vibes on lockdown as well so it's so nice to see you here as well so nice to see you here what is a raid here so a raid is when um somebody ends their stream you can direct your viewers over to their stream and say hello so the party just never ends you can just go on to another stream and hang out with people and also for any of the raiders um, who have come on in who don't know who I am, I'm Infinite Drift. I am a YouTuber who has started streaming on Twitch just honestly this weekend. So I'm very, very new to this platform. So thank you so much, everybody, for all of those follows and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Right now we are building a... Well, we're not building. We're not building a sheep farm. We are just kind of like landscaping around the sheep farm. And we might be doing a villager breeder today, but basically this is the world that we've got so far. We're basically doing a chill, cozy survival world. And we're just chilling. We got our farmland over here. We've got a little bridge to our starter house. So we're just like kind of trying to make cute little, uh, cute little chill areas. And today we're just working on this area because you can kind of see it from the farmland. The farmland's looking really fresh. But as you can see, like it's starting to look very messy over there. So we're, we're starting to work on the project of fixing that up just because we have like a sheep farm kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? Yo, Grace, thank you so much for that follow. Hold on, chat. Give me one second. I closed one of my docks. <laughs> Hold on. I think it's my activity feed. Yeah, there we go. Jane, thank you so much for that follow. Uh, Captain Rat, thank you for the follow. Miss Charlotte, of course, thank you so much for that follow. And big, big thank you again for that raid. Really appreciate it. And chat, go follow Miss Charlotte as well. Um, Kaba, thank you so much for that follow as well. I think that's, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. You love the festive sweater? Heck yeah. Um, my friend Thor made it for me. Here, I'll take off. Look at it. Look at the little shoes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a little, little snowman sweater. And also the back is like a snowman hat. <laughs> uh, also, Drift smells like onions and we live for it. Oh, great. Now you're you're out in me. <laughs> you're out in me as the smelly onion girl. <laughs> yeah, I stink like onions. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I smelled like onions last night because I had pasta and it just happens. Sometimes it just happens. <laughs> okay, um, let's get all this stuff back on. <clears throat> the Simpsons have mathematicians in its writing team, so they make little nods to math references and your nerdy heart loves it. Yeah, we were talking about um, we were talking about the Simpsons earlier and the reason why is I don't really enjoy the modern day Simpsons. And what I was just uh, kind of talking about was 
I feel like the old episodes definitely had like a lot of heart and soul and they like touched on like very like almost personal issues like the character development was really good and I feel like now with modern day Simpsons a lot of the characters have just fallen into like an archetype of who they are like a shell of who they are where it's like oh Homer equals bumbling fool so therefore like let's just like center episodes about him where he's just being I don't know just like typical typical I don't even know typical Homer but like he never learns anything from the mistakes that he makes anymore in a lot of the episodes it's just like all of the humor is centered around him just being typical Homer haha but he never learns anything from it anymore and it's like I feel like it I don't know that was like a crucial part of the Simpsons back then was like the characters always made their mistakes but they always learned something and like how they impacted others and they like they always took something away from each episode it felt like I feel like we're getting so deep with the Simpsons right now but that's that's how it feels that's how it feels <laughs> I always end up going back to the classic episodes for sure Okay, so we should probably be good with most of this path along here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little spot, chat. I don't know if I should connect it or get rid of this. Because if I get rid of this, it's going to be quite a mess because the water is going to start flowing everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. Delicious onion aroma. <laughs> <laughs> I just always constantly smell like one big onion. I love how this is like a known fact now. This is like drift lore. Like drift just smells like an onion always. <laughs> oh jeez. Should have never told you all that I smelled like an onion the other night because now it's just like we're never going to get over this topic. <laughs> I mean, we do get the term flanderized from The Simpsons. That's very true. You like Bob's Burgers? Bob's Burgers is actually like top tier show as well. I never caught the movie because they recently came out with the movie like, what, a year or two ago? But that's also that's also a really good one as well. I find that Bob's Burgers also excels in doing like really good holiday episodes. Like I really enjoy their Halloween ones, their Christmas ones. They're always like actually genuinely fun to watch. Onions are life. Totally agree. Totally agree. A good, we all love a good caramelized onion. You know what I mean? You can't go wrong with it. Or just onion and anything, really. Onion and garlic. What about wild spring onions in a birch forest on a crisp morning? Why does that sound amazing? It also sounds like weirdly refreshing. I think the crisp onion thing reminds me of the book and movie Holes. And I'll never forget the scene when they like eat the onions and they actually look super refreshing. That's a that's a really big throwback. Onions do have the best smell, especially when your neighbor's cooking them. Yo, totally agree. Totally agree. When you're like walking down the hallway and you can smell somebody cooking dinner, it's amazing. I can't smell of onion because your eyes aren't watering. Well, there we go. Then I don't smell like onion. It's confirmed. I actually don't. <laughs> Yo, Charlie, what's going on? Welcome on in. No work for you. Called in sick. Oh, no, I hope you're feeling well, though. I hope you're feeling okay. But welcome on in. And other, other than the, the sick thing, I hope you're having a good day. Yo, cutesy penguin, thank you so much for that follow. Someone should make a retro 2D platformer where Drift collects onions to restore health. That's amazing. I love that. I would love that. <laughs> Minecraft onions really do need, need, a th need to be a thing, for sure. Okay, I don't know if we need... Don't know if we need this piece right here. I'm thinking of just rounding it off. I don't know. What could we possibly use this for? Because if anything, this would be the perfect spot for like a small dock area. 
So maybe I should like round it off to here instead, like shave, shave away this spot. I don't want to cut off too much natural terrain because one, it is a pain with like water and stuff, but two, I don't really like doing that, but I feel like if we just kind of like round it off a bit, it would look better. Onions could be my health bar. Heck yeah, I love this. <laughs> You're going to make the platform game right now. That would be the cutest platformer ever. I love it. Okay, let's just get rid of this. Actually, no, the water's fine if we do this. It's fine. Oh wait, no, this is when it's starting to get really tricky, I think. The water's flowing down now. We can fix that though with kelp, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we can. Yeah, this is when it starts getting a little bit messy. Uh. Wait, what? Why is it doing this now? Ah, oh, heck. Chat, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I may have messed this up. I, the one thing I don't know about in this game very well is like water physics. I always get very, very confused. Why is it so tricky to understand? It makes no sense to me. Like why, why, why water not flowing here? What is happening? Very bizarre. World edit, just slash fix water, I wish. I wish. If it was only that simple, just to like world edit that, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks a lot better though. That definitely looks a lot better. It's just I need to fix up the water situation. I'm guessing maybe the kelp will help me here. If we do some like kelp stuff, will that work? Water physics in Minecraft make no sense. I know, I, I don't understand them. I try. I feel like there is like some kind of method to water phys physics, but I can't figure it out, you know? Cup of soup has been your best friend. Cup of soup is one of the best soups to have. I don't, there's something about it, like the tiny little noodles and oh, so good, so good. Just use a bucket. Oh, I guess, yeah, we could just keep, like, moving the water around. Okay, I'm gonna grab some... That's not nearly enough bone meal, is it? No. That's not gonna do anything for us. Where is my bone meal when I need it? I swear I had so much earlier, too. What the heck happened? What the heck? Probably have a little bit in this bone meal machine, but probably not. Oh, 31. That's not bad. It's been worse. It's been worse. That's probably good. I need to go to sleep though. Whoa. Before mobs start spawning around here. Remember all the creeper disasters we had last stream? That was hilarious. <laughs> but also not. Yo, Capybara, welcome on in. What's going on? Can chat recommend an interesting meal idea that use sausages? Okay, we make like this really, sorry, I know you said chat, but Drift's coming in hot on this one because we make this red pepper, roasted red pepper pasta. This is what you do. You take a bunch of peppers. Actually, they don't even have to be red peppers. They don't have to be red peppers. You put them, you roast them in the oven with some onions and some garlic or whatever else you want. Then you blend them up and then that's your sauce and then you put sausage in it and then also you can put like some tomato paste in it too we do that to like kind of like just add a little bit of like you know like a little bit of um i'm just gonna keep going you know what i mean though and it's a delicious red pepper pasta with sausage it's delicious it's so good yo des what's going on welcome on in how you doing 
You put sausage and pasta with Alfredo. Honestly, I think sausage, like if we're going for like a meat pasta, sausage is definitely my choice. I'm not really into like beef bolognese or whatever. Like it's just not my thing. I think I just had it way too much growing up. My dad would always make it. So I'm kind of like <laughs> I'm a little bit sick of it now. I'm, I'm over it. Okay, let's grab this water bucket. Let's try to fix this up a little bit. We have... Oh my gosh, this is a giant... Giant mess. Okay, oh well, like... Just... Okay. No idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. What if we put kelp here? Kelp will fix everything. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, it worked! It worked! Oh, there's just like a little bit right here. Right here that we need to fix up. Okay. It worked, chat. It worked. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Sweet. Okay, we just need to fix up this giant mess right here now. I can't believe that worked. I was honestly... I was like, this one, this is way too much of a mess for that to do anything, but it wasn't. Let's grab the sand too. Sand is always quite valuable. Yo, Poetry, what's going on? Welcome on in. What did you miss uh, in the first uh, 45 minutes? In the first 45 minutes, we were just kind of... Um, honestly, we were just doing a little bit of a fly around. Just showing off the greenhouse that we did the other night. and Or the other day, sorry. And then just talking about what we were going to work on today, which is the area around the sheep farm and a villager breeder. The beginnings of streams, and I don't think you missed any food talk. We didn't get into the food talk until now, so you're good on that part, too. <laughs> Heck yeah, that worked, that worked. Okay, we can take down this banner. Don't think we need it anymore. I don't even remember why I kept it there. All right, I think that's looking a little bit better. We're probably going to have to fill this in as well. You know what I can use? Chat. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Look. Look what I can use. I know some of you might know what I'm going for, but like this is a uh, very special because we worked hard to get these. My sponges. I can use my sponges. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some swags and chat for my sponges. Where are my sponges? Oh, there it is. I'm going to have to put these through the furnace first though. Uh, yay, sponges! Woohoo! Wee! I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't even put them in the furnace, lol. <laughs> yay! No, you can't miss the food talk, Charlie. You can't. You can't. Simply cannot. Spongy swag. I'm so excited that we got these. Put them in the nether to dry out. See, that's so easy, except I hate the nether. <laughs> I guess we could probably just go pop them in there. That's true. That's true. I'm making you want to start a world. Do it. Do it. This has been so fun. This um, We've been kind of hanging out in this world for a couple months now, I would say. You know what the worst part about this whole sponge thing is? That, like, honestly, there's only one layer. It's not even necessary. I could have just covered this with dirt, but I just wanted to do that. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. <laughs> Why can't I just have a giant sponge IRL, you know? Imagine you, like, ha like I don't know, you spill something on the floor and you just... Nether equals chaos, exactly. You get it, Reaper Kitty. One of your boys is attacking um, Echo, and you're too well unwell to leave bed. Oh, no, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. You stay put. It's the worst. Don't go back into the nether. I won't. I won't do this to any of us. Don't worry. Don't worry. Not today. 
We're gonna have we're gonna try to have some less chaotic moments today. It's okay, chat. It's okay. I'm down for the chill vibes too. <laughs> I'm very, very tired today. I will I won't endure that either. We'll just keep chilling. It's all good. It's all good. I'm so happy that I was able to fit a stream in though. After we had our little stream weekend, I was like, I literally cannot wait to do more. I really, really cannot. Honestly, the move to Twitch has been really, really amazing. Y'all have been so, so great. Yo, Forrest, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Uh... Giant RRL sponge checks Amazon. It's called paper towel. <laughs> there probably is like a giant sponge on Amazon, honestly. You're not wrong. There there probably is. <laughs> but I think you're also right, Charlie. <laughs> it's a paper towel is what I just described. <laughs> There's an episode of The Simpsons about that. The giant, like, a paper towel that, like, stops, like, a mass body of water. <laughs> Everything's a Simpsons episode, though. But we like chaos. I like chaos, too. We'll have some chaotic moments, don't worry. Even when we were doing, like, our peaceful little greenhouse, that turned into a chaotic mess. Don't you forget. All those creepers that were coming after me. You may be sick, but you have the wit. Heck yeah. Your wit does not leave you. <clears throat> Oops. Actually, that's fine. Okay, I think that's okay so far. It's so funny, it still looks so goofy because there's nothing around here, but... We're making progress, chat. We're making progress. Let's just fill this in really quickly. Yeah. There we go, that's better. You think the brand of paper towels was called Burley? Marge had a crush on the guy on the packaging. Yes, that's what it was. It was like the Burley paper towel, yes. And then they, I forget what happens. There's like a whole other subplot line because that's always how it, it goes on that show is like the beginning of the episode will not be like even related to the end, but somehow they get there. Because of the- I, it's so confusing the way they structure that show. It's so funny. Today on Random Stuff I Remember About TV Shows. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Random Simpsons trivia. I feel like that stuff is just like, I don't know, if you watched it a lot growing up, like a certain TV show, it's just etched into your brain at that point, you know? And you can just pull out, like, random trivia on a whim, pretty much. That's how it feels, anyway. Boy, oh boy, do we love our chest monsters around here. Boop. Uh, how much stone do we have left? Oh my gosh, I knew we'd go through it, but, like, this quickly? Jeez, chat. Okay, let's make a little bit more mossy stone as well. Mm -mm -mm. Should be good. Gotta go sleepies, though. I should build a wool stand in front of the dock. That's a really good idea. Or, like, yeah, somewhere, like, a little market stall or something around here could be really cool. Once we start filling this in with stuff, because I was even picturing like, I don't know, like um, even like skid drops or something of wool around here. A little market stall would be amazing. I love that idea. That's really cool. You haven't watched The Simpsons at all? Yeah, it's one of those things. It's like you've e you either kind of like grew up watching it or you didn't because Big Tiny Duck, um, she didn't really watch it much when she was younger. 
but she's recently been watching a lot more of it with me. Every once in a while, we just put on some episodes. Oh, thank you, Compliment Shark. I appreciate that. Okay. Build the shoreline probably to a boat. I would say we'll stop maybe right here for now. Mm -mm. I think it's just easier to do it this way. There we go. Boop, boop, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That's looking quite good. Let's do a little fly out quickly. Whee! Yo! Ryan, what's going on? How you doing? So nice to see ya. Big Tiny Duck gets it. First she agrees with you about the creeper and his fashion items, and then we both didn't grow up watching this as The Simpsons. Big Tiny Duck is a real one, that's for sure. She really is. Unfortunately, she's at work today, though. Big sad. Big, big sad. Because we always love it when Big Tiny Duck pops in. And it's like, quick bullying drift. Just a little quick one. And then she dips. You just got back from work. Hee <laughs> hee. Doing some housework, then chilling for the night. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm good. I'm chilling. We're having like a, a nice vibey day. I was, I've been so tired from the past couple days because I did a lot of social activities and it just like, like I feel winded from it almost. So we're just hanging out today. We're vibing, talking about food and how I do actually smell like an onion again. Because <laughs> whenever I eat food with a lot of onions, I just, that's just how it be, you know? It's just how it be. Stobbles be stobbling. Enchanted fishy goblin. I love that. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, compliment shark. Thank you so much for that follow, by the way. Vibe until the chaos sets in. Exactly. We're vibing now, but something's bound to happen. Something is always bound to happen on this stream. Social drain is real. Yes, totally. It's just if I have a lot of things lined up. And it's like, I'm I'm having so much fun in the moment, but then when I finally get that, like, moment of silence to myself afterwards, I'm like, wow, that was actually a lot. Always thought I gave off onion vibes. You're, uh, you were correct. You can read the vibes always. You're good at that. Heck yeah. We doing it, chat. We doing it. You're wondering when the pillagers show up? Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't already. We get so many pillager visits, it's ridiculous. Same with the wandering trader. He's always he's always coming in. Being like, hey, what's up? And we're just like, ugh, not you again, dude. You stinky, smelly man. Get out of here. Bruh, I think we're gonna need some more, um... Stone in the next while. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought I heard one. I thought I heard a pillager. <laughs> that was really scary. Oh, jeez. What's opening that door? Did somebody- did anybody else hear that? What was that? I'm scared! What, what was that? I can't be the only one that heard that, right? Like, the door go? But there's no way. I swear I just heard the door open and close. That was really bizarre. Just me? Okay. Honestly, it's probably like the, um... 
the sheep going by and stuff like that. There's a lot of like random noises and I can hear my problem is there's the music is louder than the game. So I feel like I can just like I can't hear things properly. That was really freaky, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's nothing there, though. It's fine. Jeez, I'm losing it. Yeah, I'm I'm sleepy today. I'm big sleepies today. <laughs> that was that. Yeah, that was spooky. I swear, like it, I kept hearing the door noise go. Yeah, I can turn the music down. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and also, if anybody is um, I do have like an exclamation point vods thing set up so if anybody is looking for the vods of the past streams they are on a channel i'm i think i'm up to like the second one right now they just take a while to upload because they're so big but um but yeah You have to reschedule an appointment and you have the worst phone anxiety. I feel that. I feel that. You got this, though. You got this. It'll be the... Uh, you'll get the appointment rescheduled and it'll be over before you know it. And then you'll you'll feel better knowing you got it booked. I don't so much have um, phone anxiety anymore, but I one thing that I still really don't like doing is like going to a counter and ordering food. Big Tiny Duck usually orders the food, and I just, like, stand behind, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, what Pori suggested is also a really good idea, um, getting bullet points and checklists of things to mention, especially if there's a couple of things you need to ask for, like, phone, phone stuff, like, uh, appointments and things like that, to make sure you don't forget, because I always find that I get, like, really overwhelmed when I'm on the phone and stuff, and I forget, like, the key points of what I was gonna, what I needed to cover. The one that gets me, oh my gosh, picking up parcels from a neighbor's house, yes! It's so awkward! It's so awkward! <laughs> it's the worst! I feel that, like, deep in my bones. I hate doing that. It's very rare that it happens now. Most of our stuff luckily just like gets delivered or like my neighbors will sometimes just leave it at my door. But oh my gosh, the times that did happen. <sighs> Always so awkward. me a grown human mother can you make this appointment for me oh my gosh yes i i still yeah i don't like doing it either i'm glad we're like not the only ones though all right that's starting to look a little bit better already i feel like we should just keep going with this i do think i'm gonna need a little bit more stone though so we probably should go gather some Let's grab this guy. Usually just leave it at their house for a week until they knock at the door. That's kind of, yeah, that's pretty much what I resort to. I just like, I let it be and then I, if like it never gets returned to me, then I just go. Whee. I don't go unless I totally have to. Nobody's adulting anymore, no. <laughs> no. Mm, let's grab that. Yo, Zarius, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? Also, thank you so much for that follow, Zarius. I appreciate it. You still get your mom to cut your hair out of fear that anyone else will misunderstand what you're after and it will turn into abstract art. My mother was a hairdresser, so for the longest time I had her cutting my hair. Up until, honestly, like, I'm not even kidding, like, last year. <laughs> like... And my haircut is honestly very, very simple now. Like, I like just keeping it 
I've kept it the same length, I think, for the past couple years, because I just really like it now. So I'm just like, I don't know. Whenever I go to a hairstylist anyway, I'm like, just give me the same old, please. And they're like, got it. <laughs> I found a hairstylist who just like knows what I like now. And like, they know that I'm not like the adventurous type, even to the point where they're like, you know, when you go to a hairstylist and they like blow dry your hair and it looks like wildly different than how you would style it. They like my hairstylist doesn't even do that. He's like, here, let's just air dry it because I know you prefer that. And he puts like styling cream in it and then that's it. That is it. You've never seen me without a beanie. I'll, I I know, isn't it? I think I the past few streams I've been like, <laughs> that's so weird. I haven't had not had my beanie on, but now my hair. I I don't think I can take the beanie off today because my hair is all matted down now. I'm always wearing hats or beanies though. Like this has just been such a constant. I love wearing them. <laughs> Your hair's down to your waist. You don't trust anybody to do your own. It, it's like a huge, like hair is just like, like, I don't know. Like, it's just such like an important like part of you. You know what I mean? So it is hard to like have that trust in others. Like you have to find somebody who like gets your style, you know? And like, I know at the end of the day, it'll always grow out. But still like the, if you ever get like a bad haircut and it, you're waiting for it to grow out, you're just like, oh, geez. You and your mom cut each other's hair. Let's go. I wish I could cut hair. I don't understand it. My mom has tried to explain like the methods involved, but like I don't understand layering and stuff like that. It's wild. It's like it's such an interesting profession. Honestly, it requires so much skill. Your hair is your security. I feel that. I feel that. You have wild curly hair. No one seems to be able to style it. Yeah, my hair is like, I finally found like my hairstylist who I like now because like he, the way he styles it by like letting it air dry because I like my curls and stuff like that. And then he just like kind of lets it go like naturally because I found that other hairstylists have either made it like way curlier or also like they like flatten it out, which I don't like either. Yo, Denisha, thank you so much for that follow. Just gotta take a quick little sip of water, chat. You can probably hear my voice going. <clears throat> you have a beanie attached to your head as well at all time? Heck yeah, beanie club. Beanie club. It's just, I don't know, beanies are very comforting. <laughs> I love them. I used to honestly even wear them a lot in the summer, but I've since stopped doing that because my head gets too hot. I just can't. I just can't anymore, but it's the winter now. And genuinely, it's pretty cold in my apartment today. So beanie stays on. One day I'll do um a beanie reveal stream. <laughs> but I've already committed to doing like, I don't even know, what has it been? Four streams with the beanie on? So it almost feels strange now. If I streamed without a beanie, it's already become my identity. Yo, Lasagna, thank you so much for that follow. You have no patience for a hair appointment. Somebody just needs to take scissors right away. Yeah. That was like the best thing with my mom cutting my hair. I could just be like, hey, haircut. And she'd be like, yeah, let's go. But I booked my hair appointments um, since then like months i i do the months in advance now so like at least i know that like at the point in which I, my hair needs a haircut you know what i mean so i'm not waiting too long because once my hair grows to a certain point and like i don't know like the layers start like flattening out and the ends like start getting really like um dead my hair feels so awful like it feels like so much weight on my head so it, it feels nice to get it like routinely cut if i can and then my curls get lost. Like once my hair reaches like a certain point where it hasn't been um cut recently, like my curls just like completely flop. They go away and it makes me sad. It's hard to find somebody who understands curly hair. Yeah, exactly. It's it totally is. The beanie's my uniform. Yes, exactly. 
I feel like if I went on stream and it was like no beanie, people would be like, Drift, what's going on? You okay? You have short hair, it's still slightly pink from when you dyed it. Oh, nice! I love like, just like, cool dyed hair. Like my friend recently, well not even recently, she's had it for at least like a year now. She went with like a full head of pink hair and it looks so, so cool. Like I remember she was a little bit nervous to do it. She was like, I don't know if this is gonna suit me. And like, I think she's had it for probably at least a year now and it looks so, so cool. I love it, it's like a pastel pink. Yo, JML, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Also, welcome on in. How are you doing? How's it going, JML? You miss fun colored hair, but your hair is so healthy. Now, yeah, see, that's like the trade-off, right? Is if you like always keep um having to like treat it with bleach and like hair other types of like dyes and stuff, it can it can damage it, right? You work for the state and you're shocked they let you keep uh, your fun colored hair. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I thought that that might be like a requirement to keep it just like natural hair or any or whatever. I watch you on YouTube and I didn't know you stream on Twitch. Glad to see you here. Oh, thank you so much, Lasagna. Welcome on in. Yeah, we've been on Twitch honestly literally since <laughs> like a couple days ago. We started streaming uh, this weekend on Twitch and it's it's been really, really fun. I really love it over here. I'm having a great time. I don't remember the last time I dyed my hair. I think it was like honestly probably five or six years ago I did teal. I had a bit like my sh hair was a bit shorter. It, if anything, it was like shaggier and I like bleached like the front of it and did the teal hair. I haven't done that in a long, long time though. Yo, Kira, thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. There's an old lady in your office with pink and black hair and you love her. She sounds amazing. I love that. That's awesome. I don't normally watch your streams because because of school, but now I'm on break. Oh, welcome on Earth to Jada. I hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you so much for being here. I hope your break's going well. We do love a good Christmas break, you know? That was always like my favorite time of the year during school. <laughs> Yo, Al, what's going on? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? And also, Sweet Tea, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Hear from YouTube. Nice. Welcome on in as well. There's a couple of people in from YouTube today. I love this. About to take your finals. Ooh, good luck with your finals. You got this. You got this. And once, they, once they're over, I hope you have like a wonderful holiday. That's always something that you can look forward to after. You're good, you're slacking at work for a bit. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good day just like hanging out and stuff. Don't worry, Al, you deserve it, you deserve it. Well, let's go. Today's just one of those days. I'm feeling super tired today, but that's from going out this weekend and stuff like that. I had a very, very busy weekend, or not even weekend. It was, it was a Monday and Tuesday. My days are all messed up, but this month has been crazy. Okay, I think we can go back up now. Can I, can I make, whoa, oh, that was scary. We did it though, chat, we did it. There is a creeper over there. I'm just gonna avoid that. Okay, there's a bunch of skeletons here. Go to my bed really quickly. Don't notice me, please. Woo. What do you need to do to partner with Twitch? Um, Partner has a few different requirements. I think you need to like reach like a certain amount of viewers and not subscribers, just viewers. Honestly, I have to double check. <laughs> but there are like a certain amount of like, I think watch time, viewership and all of that stuff. And you just have to hit it, I think for at least like a month or something. You got here from YouTube uh, as well. Only reason you go to Twitch. Welcome on in. Well, you've been here for a while, but it's all 
so nice to have you all here from YouTube. It's so nice. Got the YouTube gang here. I love it. Also, hey ODT, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna light this up with torches for now because I'm a little bit scared for mob spawning. <laughs> this is starting to come together. It's gonna be like a pretty, not a big project, but getting this whole area kind of terraformed out. But I do like how it's looking so far. Don't notice me, but I am setting off fireworks. I know <laughs> the skeletons are all like, <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, just going to do like the most noisy thing you can. Okay, let's make some more stone. We'll use this moss. Jeez, we're using a lot of resources today. Chat. Lots and lots of resources today. It's good though, we're getting stuff done. I'm replacing all the dirt with stone. Um, For the most part, I'm planning on replacing a lot of it. I'm not sure exactly like how much and where we'll stop. Cause I like my idea is basically to have most of this as like kind of a more industrial area with bigger builds across from the farmland. However, I don't know exactly like how much we're gonna do. I have a feeling that we'll kind of like do a build, fill or, like the remaining area around with stone. So at least like you're not just like we're not gonna be like working on this for like ever. So maybe if we add a, a build here, we can like work on the surrounding area after. But slowly but surely, hopefully it'll get full filled in. Uh, what preamp do I use for my mic? I use a Go XLR. I did have the focus right before, but um, it wasn't as like customizable, and I I think my sound kind of didn't it didn't it didn't sound as good. I find it was a little bit limited for what I needed. Make it into a marketplace? Yeah, I think a marketplace would look super cute. We could get like, I don't know, like a medieval style, like blacksmith. I was thinking like, um, what else would look good there? Some like fruit stalls or something like that. And I feel like we could kind of start filling this area with like bigger farms and stuff like that. You've been lurking now, it's time to put the kids to bed. You'll be back with your full attention later. Heck yeah. We'll see you later, Effexor. Thank you so much for hanging out. You gotta go. Lunch is over. Okay, we'll see you later, Taco. Thank you so much for hanging out as well. Always nice having you all around. Okay, maybe something... Yeah, to about here, I would say. I know I said I was gonna stop over there, but... <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Why not? Boop, 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 bop, beep, bop, boop. There we go. Drink? Have a drink? Yes, I need to have some water. Agreed. Oh my gosh, we've already been live for an hour, 30 minutes. Holy, time goes by so fast with you all because I'm always having so much fun. Infinite robot, I was thinking I was making robot noises too. Beep, bop, boop. Boop, bop. Uh, boop, 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 boom. Is my tea still warm? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. It's not warm, chat. It's not warm. It's not warm at all. That that didn't taste good. That didn't taste good. It's like the same thing with like, it's so funny how I'm like, yes, I love iced coffee. Iced coffee is the best thing on the planet. But if you gave me like a cup of cold coffee, I'd be like, 
What is that? <laughs> Get the mug warmer? I think I need the mug warmer. I think that's the solution. Because unless I do get like um, a thermos mug, Big Tiny Duck recently got a new one. She's been taking it to work a lot. I mean, it's her mug, so I'm not going to steal it from her because she needs it. But on the days where she doesn't take it, I might give that a shot too. Thermos mugs are really nice as well. I think that's what I need. Nothing worse than tea gone cold. Yeah, what, why is this so bad? It's not enjoyable. <laughs> You're arranging your extensive washi tape collection and cleaning your workspace. Oh, nice. Nice cleanup day. I always feel like so much better after those. I think we were talking about that in one of the last streams where it kind of gets stressful when you're like, you feel a little bit overwhelmed because there's so much that you've like pulled apart and you need to just like put everything back together, but your space feels so much better once you've organized it. You're the same. You're okay if it's st like the drink starts off cold. Yeah, but once it goes from hot to cold, it, there's just something so so bad about that you're just i can't yeah i can't do it either don't know what it is hydro flask is really good Ooh, do they make like mug versions of the hydro flask because honestly i'm a big hydro flask fan we have we have two of them because i got one for christmas and then big tiny duck started using it all the time and then we like started fighting over it <laughs> We were like, I want it. No, I want it. So we had to get a second one. They do have a mug one. <gasps> I need to check it out. I need to. I need to. Sweet. Yeah, those things. Yo. Oh, you just put hot drinks in the water bottle? Wait, do you like, don't tell me you use the sippy part though. Cause if you're using like the sippy part of the hydro flask, like that would feel weird. Like sipping on like a hot chocolate through a straw. <laughs> Cause that would be like, that would be too much. I use the, si I use the sippy attachment. I love it. <laughs> Okay, you don't have the sippy lid. Oh, I do. <laughs> I like the sippy lid. You get to sip on your water that way. It's so good. <laughs> Would be a little bit weird for hot drinks, though. Can we talk about how C can wake up and have energy drinks? Oh, oh, and just have energy. I thought you meant, like, wake up and immediately, like, drink an energy drink. I wake up and I'm like still a little bit groggy, but it definitely takes um, Big Tiny Duck like way longer to wake up than it does for me. Like I'll wake up, get up and then immediately go downstairs, make coffee and like go on my computer and be like, I'm ready. And she's like, what are you doing? I don't know why. I've, I've always been that way, though. I just like get up and I'm like, I think I'm good to go. Gatorade with the sippy lid. <laughs> Yes, the Gatorade sippy lid is like no other. It's like very specific. The little like twisty one. <laughs> I don't know why it's so entertaining to me. I love it. Ugh. Oh, he doesn't even drink any caffeine. Okay, that's that's wild. I definitely feel groggy if I don't drink caffeine now. I do need my coffees in the morning. Otherwise, I honestly, throughout the day, if I didn't have like a coffee earlier, I'll get like a headache. Just give you coffee and you're alive. Same, same. coffee in the morning i don't know it's just like that first sip sounds so cheesy but it's it's true like i love having like that first sip of coffee from like a fresh pot it's so good okay let's go sleepies real quick 
Coffee disagrees with your butt. Oh no. <laughs> Axel makes fun of you when you drink it. Wait, how often are you drinking Gatorade, Al? He calls it your baba. <laughs> okay, but like, how often are you drinking Gatorade? Like, do you consume it on the regular? I had this, um... I had a moment, it was last year, when I was consuming Gatorade almost every day, and I don't remember why. It started off as I think I had a bit of a cold, and I was like, the electrolytes are good for you, and Big Tiny Duck was like, okay, like, they are, but also, like, why do you keep drinking it? Because I was, I started buying cases of it for no reason, <laughs> except the, the fact that I liked it. <laughs> you only had it this month, oh, twice. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. The question is, favorite Gatorade fla flavor, though? I feel like this one people get heated about as well. Um, I'm... I obviously love, like, the a good blue Gatorade, but purple Gatorade's amazing. And the yellow one. Like, the lemony one is very good. It's gotta be cold, though. Very cold. You almost bought a case, and then you were like, I do not need this. Yeah, you made the right choice, but also you did also make the wrong choice. <laughs> Because when I had that case of Gatorade, my life was great. <laughs> it, I didn't regret it in any way. <laughs> Blue. Ooh, Powerade. Yo, Charlie, I, I gotta agree. Powerade's actually delicious. I think I do almost prefer Powerade, except it's becoming a little bit harder to find nowadays. Powerade's a good one. I feel like people give it too much. Like, they, they don't give it enough credit. We got lots of reds and blues in chat. White. Yeah, the white one's good, too. I like that one as well. Yours is cu cucumber. I've never had cucumber Gatorade. Gatorade tastes like sweat. I never thought that before. Now, when I have Gatorade, I'm going to think about that. But if it does taste like sweat, then maybe I like it. <laughs> The strawberry lemonade. I don't think I've had the strawberry lemonade Powerade. Yo, adorkable pandas. Thank you so much for that follow, by the way. Let's go. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yo, ho, Jag. What's going on? Welcome in. You love the Oreo Gatorade. If that existed, I know you would love that. It is too bad that is not a real thing for you, and I'm deeply sad about it. Onion flavored Gatorade? Heck yeah. <laughs> mm, delicious. Mm. Sometimes they taste like flavored water, but not in a good way, but either way, it still hits. Yeah, they have some of the ones that almost are like. They're more like vitamin water, if anybody remembers that. I don't think vitamin water is really popular anymore. Rightfully so, because they're not that great. They're a little bit overrated, in my opinion. But... Yes, yeah, some of them, like, I think it's like the G2 one. It has, like, less sugar and, like, less flavoring. It's more watery. Give me the sugar. I want the sugar. Remember the vitamin water craze? Heck yeah, I do. I remember, like, everyone was like, it is healthy, and then... People like, I don't know, it was like a basic study done. It was like literally it's just sugar. Like it's literally just sugar and any of the vitamins or whatever that's in it. Like they're just going to flush through you. <laughs> Said it at the same time. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. You had vitamin water once and it made you feel sick. Yeah, I remember it like, it, I don't know. It's just something about it. It was like the taste of it was just so off too. I don't know. It was very, very mid, I must say. How this be looking? Dang, we've like done quite a bit of this shoreline. A lot more than I realized. Cool. Hey. Heck yeah. I mean, like, this is just kind of a template, but it really is starting to come together. We're probably going to have to grab a little bit more moss, though. But I like it. I like it.
Yo, Lily, what's going on? Welcome on in. How are you doing? You made it onto the extracurricular platform. Well, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. It tasted like pee. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but I agree. Hard agree. It just, I don't know, the flavors, it just had no flavor. And also, vitamin water, the thing about it was, it was also super expensive from what I remember. Like, if you found it in a vending machine, I swear it would be, like, more pricey than, like, a Gatorade and stuff like that. They would just, like, upsell it so much and it was not worth it. How much longer am I going to be streaming? So usually we go for about um, four-ish hours. So we've got quite a bit of time still. Quite a bit of time. We've only just begun, so no worries there. Who mm -mm 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 -mm. is clearly Canadian? They brought it back. I found it a while ago. They brought it back. It. I don't know if it necessarily tastes the same or maybe it's like the nostalgia of it like makes it taste a little bit different, but they brought it back. I found it at a convenience store, I think like a 7-Eleven or something like one day and I was like, whoa, it came in like a glass bottle too. It was so cool. It probably, the vitamin water probably has more nutritional value. Oh, Arizona iced tea probably has more nutritional value value oh definitely without question a hundred percent hundred percent you're way better off drinking that i used to love the like ice not well arizona is iced tea but what was the one that was like mixed with lemonade or were they called like arnold palmers or is that is that a drink drink i don't remember but i used to drink those all the time the arizona one Okay, we're just gonna go over to our uh, lush cave really quickly. Actually, let me grab a bed before we go. Peace tea also is, uh, that one's like more new, but like I've heard good things about it. I haven't given it a shot yet. Yeah, the Arnold Palmer, that's what I, the Arizona one. I used to love that one. There's also one called like Juicy. <laughs> I don't remember, the can looks really cool. It's like a really cool design. It just says like Juicy on it or something. And it's like kind of like a, a sparkling berry flavor. I don't remember. It's from like the Arizona brand. So good. Oh, was it a half and half? Yeah, the golf one. It was the golf one. <laughs> That's all I remember. Also, while I'm here, can I grab another axolotl? Because why not? Yeah, I got one, swag. Ah, that was scary. And go further into the cave. There we go. You remember your uh, local shop used to sell the little cans of energy drink. Are you talking about like the little bottle things or whatever and they were called like 24 hour energy? I think I remember those. You have the Lipton peach, lemon and red berry iced tea. The I haven't had the Lipton ones yet. The ones that we're currently obsessed with is honestly pure leaf. Like, I always have a bottle in the fridge. We tried Gold Peak. It does not taste the same. I was so disappointed by it. But we always get pure leaf. Honestly, I love juice. Like, I feel like it's one of those, like, 90s things that you just can't give up. Just, like, a yummy, a yummy juice. Yo, Froggy, what's going on? 24-hour drift stream. I would be, I would be falling asleep, like... Probably five hours in. <laughs> I wish. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. How's it going, Froggy? How you doing today? 
I caught some of your uh, Vault Hunters today, by the way. Always chill vibes. Always chill vibes. Makes me want to play it so bad. So, so bad. Stop, you stink. No, I don't stink. You stink. <laughs> We're just gathering some moss right now. We're working on our, um, the little area by our sheep farm. We're trying to make, like, the shoreline look a little bit nicer today. I really need a moss farm, honestly. I mean, I really need, like, hundreds of farms in this world. There's so many things I need. But... One thing at a time, Drifty. One thing at a time. Oop. I'm just gonna gather it like this in the meantime. It's no sweat, no sweat. Set up a server and I'll play with you? Bruh, I would. That would be fun. Like a little Vault Hunter series to do together. I would be down. Seth wants to play too? Bruh, I would, I would totally be down. That would be super, super fun. I feel like it would be mad chaos too. I'm always down for the chaos. We were um, just talking about energy drinks as well, by the way. <laughs> Before you came in, we were. it started off with our love for Gatorade, and now we're talking about, like, random energy drinks. Um, does anybody else remember, on the topic of, like, random drinks, does anybody remember those, like, drinks from the 90s? I think they came in a glass bottle, kind of, like, clearly Canadian, but they had, like, plastic probably made of plastic they had like orbs in them and they would like float around and i think the drink was literally called like orbs with a Z. does anybody remember that you don't remember them oh they were so good but, like, kind of weird because, like, the texture was definitely, like, really strange. But, like, also, it was cool. Like, when you're a kid, you're like, that's awesome. Yeah, they were jelly orbs. That's what it was. I don't remember the name of it, though. I feel like I saw a picture of them on Google not too long ago. But I could not tell you for the life of me what the name of it was. Not boba. It, like, it wasn't made of tapioca. Like, I honestly couldn't even tell you what the jelly orbs were made of. But it was more so, like, um, like almost like a juice or something, and they just had, like, weird orbs in them. A Canadian class is, classic, do I remember the chubby sodas, bruh? Yes. Yes, I do. That is such a classic. I remember always wanting them, and then my parents, like, every once in a while, like, it was like a, a treat, you know what I mean? So, for anybody that doesn't know, like, there's these little pops that come in, like, a tiny little bottle, and they were called chubby. And they would, I think they still sell them, but they're very hard to find. And they were just like basic like soda flavors. Like you'd have cream soda and stuff. And everybody thought they were the coolest things ever. But we also kind of simultaneously hated them because as soon as you opened the drink, it would literally go flat. Like it wouldn't taste good anymore. You'd have one sip and it'd be done. You know what I mean? But we all like kind of were just like, whoa, like... Oh, like, Michael got a chubby for lunch. So lucky. Oh, my gosh. But they also kind of tasted horrible. <laughs> like, they weren't that great. You remember the Vimto juice ones when you were younger? I don't think I've ever heard of those. I'm not sure we had them. You could crush 10 Capri Suns right now. I could crush them easily. Same with, like, Kool-Aid Jammers. <laughs> so good i used to love kool-aid jammers oh my gosh i remember the capri suns were such a treat because we often had like the kool-aid the capri sun was a little bit harder to find but you'd always get them in your lunchables if you ever got those so many memories this is like making me highly nostalgic oh that was scary should probably eat something. The orange Capri Sun and the blue Kool-Aid Jammers. Yes, the blue Kool-Aid Jammers were the best. The blue and the grape. So good. <laughs> oh, this is making me so nostalgic. Ever have those wax bottles with the nasty juice in them? Yo, okay, me? 
Okay, I know which ones you're talking about, but me and Big Tiny Duck found the Kool-Aid version of those the other day. Does anybody remember those too? They were almost like waxy and you had to like pop off the top. Like you had to like twist off the top. It was a piece of plastic. Big Tiny Duck found one at a shop the other day and brought it home as like a surprise. And we both drank them. It was like pure sugar. It was so good. <laughs> Very nostalgic too. Ew, yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, ew, but also, like, fascinating and, like, delicious, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you be you be the judge of that. Like, it was kind of gnarly, like, drinking it, but also we were like, mmm. You go for a bottle of Sunny D right now? Oh my gosh. Wait, they were turning people green? What? I remember Sunny D. I used to chug. I loved Sunny D. It was like, it, it tasted like almost oily though. I feel like there was like a weird preservative in it that made it like oily. You're so thirsty now. Yeah, same. I'm, I've always been like, instead of like a snack, I'm like, give me like a good slushy or like a juice or something. I've always been like a juice gal, you know? Just, I love, love to sip. Hey Drift, I'm watching uh, from work right now because your bus home got canceled and you're waiting on a taxi. Oh no, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, but also welcome on in, Mikey. It's so nice to see you. So nice to see ya. Yeah, I had a bad mouthfeel. It was very strange. That was another classic though. Oops. Is Sunny D sort of an orange juice? Yeah, it's like... I don't even... Like, you almost can't even call it orange juice, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, like, a highly preserved orange juice, I think. But, like, also, what the heck is it at the same time? You know what I mean? What... Like, literally, what is Sunny D? Because it is orange juice, but it doesn't taste like it. Your mom's diabetic and her guilty pleasure slurpees so good but so bad. Oh no, I have been craving, by the way, a slurpee for like, I don't even know. It's been like a solid month, I swear. Like every time I'm like, big tiny duck, we need to go to like the convenience store to get a slushie, but we never have one. Whenever I crave it, we're never close enough to one. So it doesn't make sense for me to go out of my way. So I've had this craving for like months. Yeah, it's totally, Sunny D is totally fake orange juice. Okay, I think we're, got quite a few stacks. I think we're good, chat. I think we're good. Jeez, what a what a little nostalgic trip trip we all just took. That was that was great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I think we're still good with stone for now. We gotta drop our new little axolotl off at the pond though. I think we can get out of here. Yeah. We good. Got to sleep really quickly, too. Eat some Wawa as well. Deep Dark Adventure. Ooh. If we had a reason, I'd go. Because I actually genuinely really enjoyed it. It was so fun. Whoops. beautiful path not my beautiful path oh geez okay 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 uh nah we out we out of here we out of here that was terrifying i'm sure there's mobs around here too but Whew. creeper wanted a hug but we got out of there real quick this world is turning out so good oh thank you yeah i'm really i'm really liking how it's uh turning out so far the greenhouse area looks really cool too. I'm so, so happy about that. Honestly, I think this is probably one of my favorite interiors I've done too. 
just like take a quick little trip in it. I had to fix up the bee farm a little bit the other day, but look how like cute and magical it looks. It probably also, hold on, let me throw that in there for a second. Hello, oh no, they all went in their little boxes, sorry. Never mind. But it's super cute in here, I love it. It's so cozy, like what a vibe. And like the uh, spore blossom and stuff. Adorable. Oh, there's a there's a second bee. Let me just do this really quickly. Boop. And hey, you. Boop. We have like hundreds of bees in here. I should probably stop soon. It's gonna be too much. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's head back here. Oh, you're gonna be chilling here, Froggy? Heck yeah. We'll, we'll get you sorted too here. Hold on a second. Heck yeah. Always appreciate. Slash. Oh. Boop. I think that worked. Yeah, it did. Heck yeah. Let's go. No! No! <laughs> Chaos time! Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, chaos time. Well, that that's encouraging, Froggy. That's encouraging. <laughs> oh, jeez. Your mom told you to call and make your own doctor's appointment. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, jeez. She's like, nah, B. Nah. Did I have another? Oh, yeah, I had another shulker box. I was like, where did all of my stone go? I'm so lost. <laughs> Immediately type something out. We love you here. Okay, <laughs> I swear I heard the door again. Chat. I swear I heard it. I don't know. I just don't know. Honestly, maybe it's just like the the rails or something with the sheep farm. I'm not sure though. Immediately bans Ryan. No, not our not our voice stobbles. Not our voice stobbles, please. What did he do to deserve it? Yeah, there's a Minecraft ghost in my world. I'm like 99% sure of it because I swear I heard that door go again. I heard it go again. Maybe maybe I've been watching too many like scary shows and stuff lately. I don't know. I don't know. I am a little bit scared though. I need like a thousand stone cutters around. Honestly, yes. Everywhere we go, we need a stone cutter. We love a good stone cutter. Wish there was a woodcutter, though. Woodcutter would be so OP. Faz? Yo, Faz is such a fun, fun game. That's going to be happening. Honestly, we're getting close to when it's going to be happening. Me and Blocky are going to be doing it together soon. I'm very, very excited. You want to go play Minecraft, but your desk is too far and your bed is so comfy. I literally struggle with that all the time, especially because, like, I'm also not good at Minecraft on, like, Bedrock and Switch. So I'm like, that's not an appropriate, like, that's not a good compromise for me. Like, I can't just play on my Switch. It's not the same. Specifically, like, I want to play on my computer and stuff. But some days you just be too tired and, like, too comfy in bed that you just can't, you know? Oh yeah, Ryan threatened Scooch the other day. I forgot about that. What the heck? Stobbles. Rude. So rude. I think you're hearing the door and you use the stone cutter. Possibly. Wait a second. It doesn't make a noise when you right click on it. I don't know. But you're right. Whenever I'm using the stone cutter is when I hear it. So I think we can deduce that. 
You want to get back into Minecraft, haven't played it in forever. Heck yeah, you should do it. If you got the time, definitely do it. Also, welcome on in, Nut. There we go. Looking fresh. Whoops. Oh no, you made the decision to get up. No. No. That's how I felt this morning. Getting up was a bit of a struggle this morning because I was so, so tired. I'm still pretty tired today. It's just one of those days, I swear. I hope I just, like, go to bed early tonight and get a good sleep and then I'll feel a bit better. Yo, Zeal, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Perhaps the stonecutter's haunted. A stonemason from a past life is not happy. Well, that makes me scared now. Now I'm scared to use it. <laughs> a haunted stonecutter. Holds many secrets. Whoops. You almost fell asleep at the grocery store? Oh my gosh. Must be very, very tired today. Everybody's feeling it today, I swear. We all got into chat today and we were all like, I'm tired. We're all in it together, chat. We're all in it together. We'll feel better soon. Ruthie was feeling poor the other day. Poor little Ruth. She feels so much better now. I could tell, literally, because, like, the other day, when Big Tiny Duck got home, she I kid you not, she literally slept on Big Tiny Duck's pillow above her head. Like, she was, like, nestled in it, and she slept all night there. And usually she sleeps at her feet, so, like, she was, like, conked out and so tired and had the sneezies. And then when, like, we woke up the next morning, we had to take her to the vet. She was feeling so much better, but we're glad we took her anyway, because, I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't want to risk that if she was still running a fever and we didn't realize. But she's all good. Yeah, poor little Ruthie. She's doing better, though. We need to have Ruth cam today. We didn't have it last time because she wasn't feeling good. She's just chilling beside me. She's having a good, good nap. Feeling herself. Mm, I think I need a couple more. Whoops. Probably need a little bit more moss. Yeah, that's good. Heck yeah. You just made a huge hot cocoa? Oh, I want one now. Did you make it from scratch or one of the packs? Big Tiny Duck makes it from scratch sometimes, and I'm like, it is so good. It is, like, wildly good. The packaged ones are very good, too, though. The shaders are pretty. Oh, thank you so much. They're complimentary shaders. Just uh, kind of, like, edited a bit to my liking, though. I recently switched over to them from BSL. I had been using BSL for a long time and finally gave complimentary a shot. And I'm really, really liking them now that I've kind of like fixed them up a bit. You got to be brave and call the doctors. You got this. You got this, Charlie. And once you once you get it done, you'll feel so much better. Yo, Nitty, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the shaders thing. Yeah, Rofo made us a little shaders thing. The wizard. You make it from scratch as well. It's not uh, difficult if you have cocoa, milk, and chocolate. Right? I didn't know that. I honestly did not know until one day I was like, oh, I really want hot chocolate, but we don't have, like, the powder and big tiny duck was like oh hold on a second and she like whipped up 
like homemade hot chocolate and i was like what is this and it, it it's way better too it's so good because you can make it to your liking too so it's awesome yo welcome in nitty how are you doing i think we should make a cauldron of hot cocoa i agree we can just have a hot cocoa party Do a hot cocoa from scratch live stream as a sub goal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what it's going to end up being though? We all know it's going to be me being like, hey everybody, today we're going to make hot cocoa, except I have no idea how to do it. So have fun watching Big Tiny Duck make hot cocoa for me. <laughs> doing good, just chilling on. Oh, nice. Glad you're enjoying your day. I am doing well too. I'm having a good day. A nice chill day. After, like, our little stream weekend that we had, I was so excited to come back, and I was like, I need to do a... need to do a stream. Chat, remember the wheelbarrow? Frog. <laughs> we do not mention that. <laughs> we don't mention that. Let's not. That was tragic. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> do a cooking stream, bruh. Like I said, if I did a cooking stream, it would end up being like big tiny duck being like oh my gosh this is all so wrong Th things are going horribly let me just do it it would just end up being a big tiny duck stream <laughs> which i'm sure you all would probably appreciate anyway the wheelbarrow okay so we were making a greenhouse the other day and frog was like you should put a wheelbarrow in the back of the greenhouse and i was like oh great idea and I kept trying to make it, but for some reason, I couldn't. Like, I kept getting, like, the items wrong on where to place them. <laughs> we don't mention it, yeah. I, you thought I was trolling? No. <laughs> okay, I'm the type of person who, like, if you give me instructions and tell me how to do something, like, written out, I can't, I can't follow it. I need, like, visual instructions. You'd still watch if we did a big Tiny Duck stream? Heck yeah, you would. Heck yeah, you would. It was so painful to watch, I know. I'm literally, I am the type of person who needs, like, verbal, or sorry, visual instructions rather than verbal. I can't, I can't follow verbal instructions. Big Tiny Duck always says, like, whenever she sees me, like, somebody giving me instruction and it's verbal, she can, like, she's like, I can watch the your soul, like, leave your body and, like, your eyes just, like, glaze over and you can see there's, like, nothing going on in your brain. Suddenly, I'm just like... <laughs> and the person's like, did you get that? And I'm like, yeah, I totally did. And I'm like, what was I supposed to do? I have no idea. So funny. Okay, there we go. This is trying to look a lot better. You're the same, Al? Yeah, I don't- I don't know what it is. I just can't, like... I just can't understand things unless I see it first. I feel like it's the way I visualize things in my mind. Yeah, we got there in the end. It took a- it took a little bit of time, but we got there in the end. I had it right twice and I kept breaking it. Yeah, because it's one of those things where it's like the chat was almost delayed. Here, I'll show you the wheelbarrow. It's like literally the most simple design. It's so funny. Because it took me like 10 minutes to figure out. <laughs> and I would place something and I'd be like, is this right? And chat would be like, no. And then I'd do it like, I'd change it right away. And I'd be like, is this right? And then they'd be like, yes, no, yes. So I had no idea what I was doing. It's literally just a grindstone with a composter and a gate. And it took us like 10 minutes to figure this out. Well, me to figure it out. 10 minutes for chat to explain it to me. Because I couldn't. <laughs> Yo, Diani, what's going on? How you doing? You're here to watch stream. Excited to see you on Twitch. Heck yeah, welcome in. It's so nice to have you here. Some people, yeah, some people like don't even, don't, aren't able to like visualize things in their mind either. And like definitely everybody processes things differently. Like some people are better with written instruction. Others are verbal. It's so funny how everybody's mind works like so, so differently. Okay, I don't know what to do with this giant, like, hill right here. This is the problem. 
so I'm gonna take a different angle really quickly, like maybe something like this. So I kind of wanted this to flatten out a little bit. And I'm wondering if this hill is necessary or if we just like rip into it. You know what I mean? I the way that this thing is kind of like encased right now in this hill isn't ideal. It it'll take a little bit more work to get rid of, but at the same time, I don't really see a purpose for this. I feel like it's almost kind of like breaking the line of sight and this might be better as a build rather than let's say like a landscape piece of land. Like we could put in a waterfall or something here. Or we could like also put in like a little waterfall pond area right here, which I kind of started already putting stone bricks into and like a small build on top maybe. But I worried it's like obstructing this too much, you know, make a little building on the hill. Yeah, that's I feel like. Retain. Oh, we could do a retaining wall. OK, that's a good idea. I like that. So maybe instead of having it completely just like landscaped we could do like i'm picturing almost like a little waterfall with a pond here and then like you all said a retaining wall right here and then we can just kind of cut into the chunk right here because i'd still like that to be a bit more flattened i like that that's cool heck yeah Ooh, yeah we could make like a water mill or something like that too we could do it if we were to do a water mill actually we could do like a little pond here or the water mill could work well along like this area close to like the riverbed. You know what I mean? That would be really cool, too. Yeah, now I'm more inclined to keep it. I was unsure at first, but I do think that I'm going to rip. Hmm, let's see. Let's get rid of at least one or two layers. Maybe I can slope uh, the area behind the sheep farm a little bit more. I just don't like how close it is. Now I have this OP shovel, so it's easy peasy. And then this will be kind of like more of like a hill um, on its own, and then we could just cut away all of this. I think that would be kind of cool. I don't think we necessarily need a bunch of um a bunch of height on this side either. I wouldn't mind flattening out all of this too. Let's see. Something like this might work. Yeah. We would just have to make sure we leave enough space on top of this hill, but like even a smaller build would look really cute up here, actually. I think this would be more than enough room for like a small build. And then like imagine we do something like a little waterfall thingy down here going into a pond. I kind of like wrecked the area where the pond is going to go, except alternatively, it could just like go right into this area. Just like mark that out very loosely. Have it like kind of flow down. I feel like that could be like a cute little area as long as we have like a nice retaining wall. I think that would look pretty neat. Oh no, the doctor didn't pick up. That's the worst. You just want to get it over with and then you're just like, well, going to be waiting a bit longer. We need a good forge with an anvil and blast furnaces. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I feel like a forge would look really cool around this area, possibly, or even maybe behind, like, right around here. Oh, geez, there's so much I want to do. <laughs> I 
I wonder if... I didn't give myself a little bit more space here. This is actually quite a bit of space. I don't know if I want a super, super tall build here on top of it, though, but this would be a pretty good spot for, like, maybe a cute house. We gotta figure out, like, some type of house. I want it to maybe, not even a house, just, like, a building that would have a bit of purpose. It could either be that, or it could be, like, a retaining wall with a path going up, and it could be, like, a cute little, like, gazebo as well. So there's a, there's a couple options we have. Remember when I was saying I have too much dirt? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we're adding to the collection. <laughs> to be fair, we are using some of it to ter terraform as well, but we're gaining more dirt than we are losing at this point. Oops. I'm like so undecided on what to do in this little spot. This is actually kind of a cool little hilltop. Oops. I don't know, chat. That's a tough decision. Either way, we're getting like a cute little waterfall and it's going to look like super organic and stuff, but... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Let's fly out again. Oh, that is a, that is a cool little spot. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know. Statue fountain. Yeah, I was thinking, like... <sighs> maybe something more garden-y like that would be cool. Or a gazebo or something. A gazebo would look really cute. I mean, we could also put in, like, a second enchanting area with, like, a gazebo thing. Okay, so we have, like, a design similar to this. Flower garden would be pretty cool, too. So, even, like... Maybe something a bit bigger than this guy. Like a little gazebo with, honestly, maybe an enchanting station in the middle. So then we could get more use out of it, because our enchanting station is kind of far away. I actually wouldn't mind having another one nearby in case we need it. And then it would have a little bit more function and purpose. And it would look kind of swag too, you know? The swag factor would be pretty sweet. Ooh, a custom tree with a flower garden around. That's a good one, too. We could also line, like, the garden with, like, nice stone around it as well. A statue of Ruth. Oh, little Ruthie. Okay, I think those are definitely my choices for sure. I like, I like all of these ideas. We're going to do them. One of them. We're going to choose. All right, I'm going to go for a really quick break um i'm just gonna get maybe another tea and stuff but i'll be back probably in around five minutes give me a couple minutes and i'll be back soon all right brb chat oh my mic was muted hi i'm back instead of hot tea i got iced tea just on the tea train today We gotta sleep really quickly. Big swag. Yeah, custom trees are very hard. They're like the bane of my existence at this point. I can't, I try so hard at them, but they always end up looking like regular oak trees. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing wrong? It's so funny. I'm not good at them at all. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna make this little pond area. Let's maybe try to get a little outline like that. We want enough space so we can walk as well. Like around it. Something like that, possibly. Guardian swaggy. So. <laughs> mm. 
That got me. That got me. Okay, what's the vibe on this retaining wall? Like, are we gonna make it out of stone as well? Or should we make, like, the retaining- I'm picturing the retaining wall being a little bit more rugged. Like, maybe made out of cobble and mossy cobble instead of just stone. Yeah, I'm thinking that. And then we can maybe add in some, like, rooted dirt and stuff like that. We're gonna have to, um... I don't know if we have any mossy cobble on us. We're gonna have to go take a look, chat. Wait, was this the one that I wanted? No. Mossy cobble sounds fantastic for the wall. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'll make it look a little bit more like run down and organic, you know? We don't want it all to look like super pristine. Your mom's picking on her partner. Oh, no. No. Okay, we got a little bit of mossy cobble. We got... Coarse dirt, possibly? Probably some coarse dirt around the edges. What else have we used for this? We got some moss. Maybe some granite would look cool. <gasps> mud. 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 Sorry, I'm obsessed with mud now. Literally obsessed with it. Maybe packed mud. And rooted dirt. I think that would be kind of cool. Literally, I, I was like... I was sleeping on the... Um, on the on the mud honestly it's so good so good yo peter king what's going on how you doing my dog's looking at me like you got games on your ipad right now <laughs> is your dog like do you have like games for your dog though you know how you can get like cat games or whatever where like worms go across the street the stream the uh the screen do you have that but for like dog version We tried that with Ruth once, but, like, she started attacking the screen so aggressively that we had to stop. She was, like, too into it, you know? She still does that with our, um... Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so aggressive. She still does that with our TV when there's, like, a loading symbol. She absolutely goes wild for it and will, like, start attacking the screen and it's actually, like, kind of scary and I'm like, she's gonna break something. So, we try not to have that type of stuff on the TV, because she'll just break it, <laughs> unfortunately. Sensory games for your animals are so funny. Dude, it's so funny. I just wish she wasn't, like, she, would, she wouldn't attack things so aggressively. <laughs> it's so good, though. She's so into it. You don't let him touch electronics. He's a drooly boy. Aw, Dorito. Why? <laughs> Poor Dorito. <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Yo, Delight, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Also, Kara, thank you so much for that follow as well. Yo, Wes, what's going on? Welcome in. Your cat followed the laser pointer? Oh, yeah. Ruth loves a good laser pointer. For sure. She's obsessed with those, honestly. It's so funny. I love watching her with the laser pointer. Like, I can't get enough of it, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Should probably make some stairs, too, actually. Switch it up a little bit. 
Got some different angles and stuff going. So happy to finally catch a live stream, even though I'm late. I've been watching the long plays on YouTube. Oh, nice. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day, and thank you so much for being here. It's always nice to see the YouTube's, YouTube peeps coming over. It's awesome. Coffee, yes. Honestly, even when I'm feeling a little bit not the greatest, I, I always get a coffee. Coffee is life for me. Boop. Yeah, this is like a pretty simple retaining wall, but I do like the difference between this and this. Like the texture, it's it's more than enough, I find. I wonder if... Okay. So... Maybe this could be like a little garden area. So what I'm thinking is... Uh, ba -ba -ba, do I have any... I've got regular stone. Maybe I can make a couple stone bricks. Maybe I can kind of like do a little design like this all the way around. Yeah, just to like kind of sanction this little area off as like the little like overgrown organic area. Something like that. Ooh, a little bit of tough. Good call. Actually, let's go grab some of that. That's what I was forgetting. Tough would be good. I think we've got a lot. Oh yeah, we do. Nice. Nice. Do I have anything else in here that I could use? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Take that too. And that, and that, and that. And that. And that. Should be okay. Swag. Dang, I can't believe how much we filled in already. That's wild. This was literally just like a patch of grass earlier on. Crazy. Some tough would be really cool towards the bottom, I think. Mm. We'll get in little spots like that. Oh yeah, that's good. That is fresh. Very fresh. And honestly, tough makes like the best noise in the world. It's like my favorite thing ever. I love it. Cool. We'll get like little patches like that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a little bit ahead of myself though, chat. Hold on. I just want to fix up like one more thing before we keep going with this like organic wall. Oh, geez. I'm going to need way more than that. Just fill this in really quickly so I can have like an idea of where we're gonna place the slabs to like enclose this little pond thingy, you know? Something like that. And then boop, 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 boop. I think something like that works. Cause then we have enough space to keep walking around, like over to this area. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yo, Callie, thank you so much for that follow. Ooh, yeah, mud bricks. I was picturing um we could do something like mud bricks kind of towards the top, probably. Because they're a little bit lighter in color. So we'll kind of go with like the darker, moodier, tough at the bottom and kind of like transition into the top where we'd use some mud bricks possibly. Yo, Thrush, welcome on in. Um, what is the small hill? So basically we have like this tiny little hill that we decided to keep uh, by the sheep farm. And I think we're going to turn it into a waterfall. 
And it's going to look a little bit more like natural and organic with like a little bit of landscaping around it. So we're going to do like maybe a little waterfall into a pond here with a build on top. And for the build on top, we haven't... It, um. We haven't really decided exactly what we're going to do yet, but probably something like a little garden or something up top. I think it'll look really cool. We need some glow lichen too, eh? So we can get the glow lichen transitioning to like the lighter parts of like the build. That's always like a good shout to have as well. Oops. And now I can bring back all of my stuff. Let's grab this. Heck yeah. Then at the bottom here, I do like the- honestly, it's like I like the grass, but I'm so obsessed- oops, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. I could just bone meal the moss. Let's just get like one, two pieces in here. Boop, boop, and then we'll grab our bone meal. I think I have some over here. Whee! Oh, the bead bag uh, heat packets for when you're not feeling well. Yes, those are like the best. You can like microwave them or whatever. I remember I used to use those all the time. I don't have one anymore, but they come in handy when you're not feeling great. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my bone meal? Couldn't find it, but I did. I found it. Oops. Heck yeah. Oh! Hmm. You know what? I kind of like that. I didn't even think about, like, just turning some of the grass into moss, but that's kind of cool. Okay, I like that. I didn't- I did not even consider that. Let's just bone meal this all the way to the top because, honestly, it's even easier to break, like, some of this grass, and we might want to keep some of this in. Heck yeah. I like that. That's pretty fresh. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And then we'll just try to keep some of the stonier parts, like, contained so they look like little pieces of rock formation or something. Like, something like that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Very good, chat. Very good. I'm very pleased with this. Da, 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 da. We want stone there instead of moss. Boop. But we will put some moss here and then bone meal this and see what happens. Moss is just too good. Honestly, I know I use it like f for everything, but it's just so, so good. Yo, Trixie, thank you so much for that follow. And Crack Chip, thank you so much for that follow as well. Yeah, that's looking pretty fresh. It's already starting to come together. Okay, we need to get some more... Tough along the bottom, I think. Boop, 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 boop. Oops. Something like that. Probably get a couple pieces up here, too. And then we'll surround that with some, like, cobble and stuff like that. Probably moss cobble. Oh, hello. Hello, chicken. You're so cute. I do love you. Oh, hello. 
You're adorable too. It's a little party here today. I love it. Let's see. Yes, that's looking good. Maybe a couple of pieces of like stone in between though to break it up a little bit. Honestly, even just like one there. I suck at natural textures in Minecraft so bad. Y'all make it look so easy. Honestly, it's like, I feel like the best piece of advice I can give is to like find a gradient that like works together. So right now it's like I'm focusing on just using cobble, tough, stone, cobblestone, and like moss. Those all complement each other really well. And try to like um, gradient, gradient where like you have, you start from the bottom and the bottom makes sense where like this would be like a darker color and you go to like a lighter color towards the top and stuff like that it takes a lot of practice to get like the randomization down i find that's all honestly the trickiest part but if you stick to a gradient um and then work within that gradient so you're not all over the place it definitely helps yo callie what's going on welcome on in how you doing how you doing so nice to have you here hope you're having a great day um, let's switch this over to this guy. Yeah. So I guess this, like, piece of tough is going to be, like, a bigger kind of, like, rock formation as well, it seems. That's kind of, like, the idea of it. Actually, maybe what I could do is... Yeah, we'll get this guy here. Pop in like a couple random side like pieces of stairs on the sides and stuff like that should make it look okay and let's bone meal some of this moss and see what it looks like get a piece of moss in here it should start bone mealing all of this around it yeah it's too easy with the moss i love the moss can never get tired of it I also love the grass that's, like, growing on it. There's a couple of pieces that we don't necessarily need, but, like, little patches here and there are really nice. Oops. It's trying to fly down. That was not so swag, chat. Not so swag. C is good at, at it, too. Yeah, every see, everybody has, like, their strengths and weaknesses in Minecraft. My weakness is custom trees. 100%. It's amazing how little a stack of dirt actually is, right? When you're filling in something, you're like, oh, there's a creeper hole I need to patch up. You go through, like, two stacks of dirt, and you're like, what the heck? How did this even happen? Oh, no, Jack is screaming. Ruth is fast asleep on the pillow beside me. She is living her life right now. Bone mealing moss is so OP. I agree. I agree. It just honestly makes everything look too good. I'm like, like I said, it's like it feels too easy almost, you know? I love it. Yo, Marion, what's going on? Welcome on in. So nice to see you here. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for popping in. And Luca, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Shame you can't bone meal mossy cobblestone, Azzy. Right? Right? I wish. <laughs> My life would be that much easier if we could. I think this is coming together, though. So this is, like, going to be the little pond area. And we can pretty much fill it in as soon as we finish um, just fixing up the bottom of the pond a little bit with some stone and like maybe some coarse dirt and stuff like that. We'll definitely put some kelp in here to help with that. Honestly, maybe some moss. Why not? Why not, chat? Let's Let's go for the moss. Let's commit.
What else did we add to our pond yesterday? Oh yeah, we added like the um the campfires underneath. I don't think I want that for this one though. As much as I like it, it would be like a little bit distracting. We'll definitely get some lanterns in. I'm like, is there any texture that I'm missing though? Nah, just coarse dirt and stone. We kept it really simple and got some kelp in there. Oh my gosh, I still have my axolotl in a bucket, bruh. We gotta we gotta get you in with your buddies. Don't worry, my friend. Ow! In you go. Be free. Oh, look at all of them. Look at that. They're all so happy. Okay, we gotta go sleepies. You like the warm green color of the moss? Me too. And now that I'm not using Optifine anymore, I really like that the texture wraps all, all the way around the block. I really do miss that with the Optifine grass, but I honestly just prefer the texture of moss too. Like it works so well in natural settings. Yo, CT, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Cobble fence would be cool too. Like the wall, the wall would look really cool with it jutting out. I think so too. We'll definitely add some of that in. So when we do that, usually what we got to do is get a couple of pieces uh, a little bit higher up so they kind of like jut out from the ground. So we can do that. Which means we're probably going to have to add a little bit more balance here. It's a little bit too low from the ground. Something like that. Goodbye, Moss. It was It was a good run but I need space. Just need some space, moss. Probably something like that. And then we add some walls in. We're almost done with this pond, actually. It's looking pretty swag. I don't think it really needs coarse dirt. You're not really going to see much from the bottom. This might actually be too high. Like, I think that's where the walls have to go instead. Hold on a second. So if we added, oop, oh yeah, that's way too high. My bad. The wall would sit there instead, I think. Yeah. And we can get a couple lanterns on it. Do we have any, I think we have some lanterns at home. Why aren't I using Optifine? So I switched over to Sodium and Iris because I was having really bad performance issues with Optifine, even in this world. So... I honestly at first thought it was just me kind of having performance issues on a bigger server like Bloodlines. And I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. There's a lot on that server. There, like, there's a lot of things contained within one area on that server. And then I started having issues on here. And I was like, I have a feeling that it might be time to switch over to Optifine. You wish Optifine had better performance. I missed some things about it. Yeah, me too. Because honestly, there's some things that like... Are just baked into optifine and the only th my issue with sodium and iris is that i hate that i just have to download like hundreds of mods to get like to get certain things that optifine already does but the performance was bad enough that i was like i can't like i can't keep using it it was i was even starting to lag on this map and this is like a solo world and honestly i haven't even done that much to it like i don't have like any i don't think i have crazy farms on it so it had to go had to go i've been having i've been having a lot better luck with uh sodium and iris though oh cute i like that very swag You switched over during 117 because you couldn't be around your villagers without getting one FPS. Literally, like that's that's wild. That's wild. Honestly, like I'm surprised it took me that long because like even especially back then when I wasn't really running a beefy computer, 
like I'm shocked that I was able to get like still okay performance. But this was the world that kind of did it for me. I was like, oh no, like there are issues. Mm, do I have another bucket? I think I do. Ow. Yes, I do. Spore Blossom's leg do out. That's interesting. And that sucks because Spore Blossom's are really nice. Like, I don't think I could go without having Spore Blossom's in a world now, you know? That's disappointing. Oh, no. Two pieces of dirt. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. You're not supposed to be here. I'm always the worst at filling ponds. I'm like, where do I fill from? How do we get this water to stop flowing? Usually the kelp helps, though. It'll, like, balance everything out. I'm just gonna fill from the sides and hope for the best. You'll be right back. You're gonna make some cup of soup. Nice, nice. We'll see you soon, Charlie. Delicious cup of soup. We're having frozen pizza tonight, and I'm still very excited about it. We got, like, these frozen pizzas from, like, a, a restaurant that we really like. They started selling them at the grocery store, and we were like, what? And Big Tiny Duck had them at her uh, friend's place the other day, and she was like, no, they're actually, like, so good. It's, like, literally restaurant quality, so we picked up a couple. I'm very, very excited. Okay, we just gotta fix the middle point now. This background music reminds you of Spyro Reignited Trilo Trilogy and its revamped soundtracks. Oh, heck yeah. I still need to give, like, the Spyro games a shot. That's one thing I didn't really get to try as a kid, because I, uh... I grew up with, like, an N64. I switched over to PlayStation during the PS2 days. And did they have a Spyro game for the PS2? I don't remember. Also, what the heck is going on here? Oh, there we go. Got it. Maybe I can fix the rest with kelp. Hold on a second. Clearly, I forgot a couple pieces of dirt there. That's odd. Uh. Where did my kelp go? There we go. Do I have any more bone meal left? Hopefully in the chest. Whee! Yes. <gasps> Piece of dirt. Get rid of it. Oh, there too. Get rid of it. There we go. Might have to replace some of this stone at the bottom with a little bit more, like, moss and stuff. Just so we... Because I don't think you can place kelp on stone. No, you can't. You cannot. Okay, let's fix that up really quickly. Boop. Boop. Mm, boop. I hear the water flowing still. Where is it flowing? Oh, right here. Dang it. What the heck? Let's try to get rid of this little guy right here. Oh, no, that's not going to do anything. Maybe a little bit more water will help. Ah, what the heck? I can't get it. Can't get it, chat. Can't fix it. It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, we need a skelly spawner. I know we do. We found one the other day, actually. Finally. It took us, like, literally, like, three months to find a skeleton spawner on this map. I'm not even kidding. Ever play Sims 2 on the PS2? Graphics next level. I remember, because me and my sister growing up, we had, like, 
the regular Sims on the PC and we are obsessed with it. And we were like, oh, well, it'll just be as good on the PS2. It wasn't. It was so bad. And we were like, what the heck is this? Absolutely awful. Need to put kelp where the water is flowing to. Oh, I see. So, like, it's going into this square. Is it this square? I think so. Let's try a little piece right here. Like that? <gasps> yes! Azzy OP. Azzy OP. Azzy OP. Skelly Farm 1? Ooh. Maybe soon. Honestly, we're still doing pretty okay with our bone meal because we had a bunch from the nether and stuff. So it's gone to the point where I'm like, man, I don't even know if we really need one anytime soon. We've gone so far without it. Your fave on the PS2 was Super Busta Move. I, what is that game? I've never heard of it. Super Busta Move. There was like one game that I absolutely missed out on, but it's like a fan favorite. And it was like... Was it Jet Set Radio? Or it's something where like a like a bunch of people are rollerblading. And you can do like cool tricks and like cool graffiti and stuff like that. I think it was called Jet Set Radio or something. But my friend introduced it to me in college. And oh my gosh, it was one of the best things I had ever seen. It was amazing. But it's like, I think like the actual disc is really hard to find now because people want it so bad. It's like a collector's item at this point. Oh yeah, torch area. Good call. Good call. Good call. Boop. 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 It was a bubble shooter game? Yo, that was like when I was in high school and like became suddenly obsessed with the game Zuma. Like, what reason did I have to like that game as much as I did? Like, I would play it I had so many other games to play, but I would be like, nah, I just want to play Zuma, bro. <laughs> I remember I would like sit on MSN and like play it online while like hanging out with my friends online. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Underground was a, a killer too. The soundtrack. Soundtrack on Tony Hawk's Underground was probably the best out of that whole series. Totally agree. I think that one's my favorite. Big Tiny Duck knows. Big Tiny Duck knows. I think that is one of my favorite games of all time as well. Dude, Eric in that game? Oh my gosh. Eric is probably one of like video game history's like best villains. He is like the worst human. Eric. I want to play it now. <laughs> Big Tiny Duck, we need to hook up our PS2. You're having visions of the creeper blowing up the pond? Yeah, let's avoid that for sure. You used to role play in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2? Me too. Me too. You like build your character and then you would just like skate around and in your mind you would just like come up with stories. I used to do that too. <laughs> Eric, poor, you know what I'm talking about. I need frog lights. I know. I know I need frog lights. It would look so good. <sighs> I'm just so scared to do anything nether related though. Bruh. Al, I can't believe you said that because that like called me out too. I used to do the exact same thing. Kettle is boiling. Nice, nice. Gotta get that cup of soup. We can get you on the roof in the nether. Ooh, that's true. We can, but also requires math. And we all know how I do with math and instructions. The suburb map, map is the best RP level. I don't remember the suburb one in Pro Skater 2, but honestly, if you told me all the levels, I remember the ones in Underground more. Because I played that one so much. I remember specifically like the New York map and you had to collect like the hot nuts or whatever. It was like one you had to like go to the stalls and like like do like a trick on them or something. So good. 
when you first started watching the stream, I felt like I was old compared to everyone else, but conversations like this remind me that we're all senior citizens. Heck yeah, welcome in to the party of senior citizens. No worries there. Don't worry, we got you. We get highly nostalgic. <laughs> we always get highly nostalgic on this stream and people suddenly realize, wow, we're all a bunch of oldies and I love it. No math? Okay, I'll do it then. If there's no math involved, I'll do it. We do need a frog pond. We need a frog pond and we need a pond for Scooch. There's a lot of there's a lot of ponds that we need. A lot of stuff going on. Maybe it was Pro Skater 3. I think Pro actually, you know what? It was probably Pro Skater 3, Al, because Pro Skater 2, I believe, was still um that was n64 i remember that because i had a copy of it and then one of my friends was like yo can i borrow it and i was like reluctantly reluctantly like yeah sure because i was like i have a feeling i'm not going to get this game back and i never did oh i just want to i just want to borrow it, take it home for the weekend and play it yeah I never got that game back and i'm still upset about it <laughs> still mad about it it's okay it's okay Yo, Yuri, what's going on? Welcome on in. Also, Robust, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Have we seen Scooch today? Can we see Scooch? Yeah, we can do a little Scooch, Scooch tour soon. That sounds very strange, but y'all know what I mean. We can go see Scooch in a bit. He hasn't grown up yet. <laughs> He's still chilling. My mom gave our family friend our copies of Ocar Ocarina of Time and Pro Skater 2 and he traded it into EB Games for a new game. Great. That's so nice. What a nice thing to do to somebody. <laughs> I would have actually lost my mind if somebody did that. That is so upsetting. Bruh. Also, like, don't forget that, like, I mean, games are expensive now, but, like, games in the um, 90s and early 2000s were very expensive. Like... The library of games we had for our N64 was, like, minimal compared to, like, what you would have now, I swear. Because it was just, like, very, very expensive. Like, we would rent more often than we would buy. I would rent games all the time. Because it was just cheaper. I'm from Spain. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? One of your favorite Tony Hawks uh, was a local multiplayer mode horse. Oh my gosh, Yes. The manual combos. I remember I used, I honestly used to be able to like hold combos very well in that game. Very, very well. Like, I don't want to brag, but also, what would it look like if I put water down in this spot? Hold on a second. Oh, the game Slap and Tony Hawk. I think, I feel like that was an underground thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Slap was uh, in Tony Hawk's Underground. Oh, that surprisingly worked. I actually thought this was going to spill over and just cause chaos. I think I like it in this spot, chat. Kind of like to the side. I think that's kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah, Tony Hawk Underground 2. Wait, Underground 1 was my favorite. Underground 2 was the one with, like, BAM and stuff, right? Also, it goes for Matt. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. 1 was, I think, my, my favorite. Yo, that looks pretty, pretty dope. I'm into it. We just gotta add a little bit of more of a rock formation up here. Just to kind of, like, encase the water a bit more. Whoops. I think I'm just going to make like a boulder or something like that. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. 
You're getting nostalgic over uh, old games. Me too. It's making me want to like have a day where I sit on the couch and just boot up like the old PS2 or N64. Be right back. All right. We'll see you soon, Froggy. In Pocket Edition, you can put lanterns in water. Can you in Java? I'm not sure, actually. That's a good question. Let's see. I don't know if you can. Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Boop. Mm, I just need some walls and stuff in here for added like texture and stuff. Whoops, not beside that one. I think that's looking a little bit better. Maybe add like a half slab here or something. I think that's pretty good. Boop. Yeah, that's pretty neat. If we just add some walls in, it'll just kind of give a little bit more shape to the thing. There was a way to play a Shrek in Underground 2. I remember that. I remember that. There totally was. Because they always had... Once you like beat the game... You could unlock certain things, and a lot of them were like you could do character changes. And I remember in like Tony Hawk Three, I'm pretty sure you could like play a Spider Man or something, and it looked cool, like just like kick flipping and stuff in a little Spidey costume. It was awesome. It felt so cool. You played Skate Three on the PlayStation Three all the time. Yo, Skate Three was so good, Charlie. That one, oh my gosh, classic. Skate Three, or or was it Skate One or Two? I don't remember. Doesn't matter which one, but the skate series was so different. Like, I still get, like, really sucked into playing that game because, like, it's so much more technical. Tony Hawk is really fun to, like, mess around on. And I was, like, arguably very good at it. But skate was, like, really cool if you were trying to get more technical with stuff. Very addictive. And it had good multiplayer from what I remember. Like, I think me and my friends used to play it all the time. Whoops. You had Sega Nintendo and then went to PC. Like the um, old school, like the first Nintendo, because that's pretty wild. I ended up buying one of those when I was a little bit older. We had the Super Nintendo, but honestly, my dad played it so much more than we did. Like it was basically his donkey kong was my favorite game on it though i was obsessed with the donkey kong games honestly they still hold though those are like probably some of the best like platform style games in existence i think you broke your nose on a skateboard once stobbles no no that's a that's that's a bad one to break bro that's a bad one to break did you ever step foot on a skateboard again? Cause I don't I don't know if I would. I luckily I never broke a bone skateboarding, but there were definitely some close calls I had when I was younger. You had an SNES, N64, and Xbox. We pretty much like, yeah, I was very similar. I had Super Nintendo N64 and then we went PlayStation and then I switched back to X I switched over to Xbox when the 360 came out. Which I was very happy I did cuz at the time there were so many so many good games on it. I just remember playing so much like Halo and stuff with my friends and Gears of War. That was another big one. Then the Wii era happened. I swear the Wii era, like, it changed so many things. I feel like the Wii was the ultimate, like, party system. You know what I mean? Like, you'd go to a friend's house and you would go play their Wii and the bowling just was pure chaos. It was probably some of my favorite moments because I never had a Wii growing up. We went with, like, a 360 instead. And... I don't know, it was just a joy to play those, like, goofy games with your friends, like the Wii, Wii Sports and stuff like that. Yo, Loghead, what's going on? Welcome, and it's so nice to see ya. How you been? The Wii era was iconic, but yeah, I totally agree. It totally was. 
Stobbles is back hovering the ban button. <laughs> Scooch doesn't get threatened. Yeah, for Scooch. For Scooch. We proved you really need the wrist, uh, wrist strap. Yes, totally. Dude, the amount of accidents that happened on the Wii because people were just like, <laughs> their controller would just go flying. And that's when like better TVs started coming out too. And like the LCD and like plasma TVs or whatever were actually very expensive back then because they were newer technology and people were just sending their controller through it. <laughs> Has anybody played Maple Story on PC? I never played it, but I did hear about that game. I re the name's very familiar. You're good. Super busy with work, but happy to be back on stream. Oh, nice. Well, it's so nice to have you here. Very, very nice to see ya. And I feel that work's been, uh, I'm sure work's been, been hectic for everybody, this, especially this past month. December is usually craziness, huh? We brought Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yep. What was Wind Waker? Was that the Wii as well? Or no, that was GameCube. GameCube was cool. Your mom convinced you, uh, convinced you that MapleStory gave your computer a virus, so she she just brought into her room and didn't let you play. No, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, Froggy. Oh my gosh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero, for us. I was like obsessed with Guitar Hero. Like I had a problem. I'd go home and play that all the time. And then Rock Band came out. I was, okay, what was everybody's part in the band for Rock Band? I was the drummer. And like, I remember I used to play it on like expert mode and I was like, I got too into that game. But I'll never forget the first day that I picked up that game. I brought it home from Best Buy and it was like really late at night that me and my sister decided to set it up. like. I don't know, like nine or 10, not that late. But my parents had already gone to bed and we were like, oh, let's just play some casual rock band. So I set up the drums and we're like banging on the drums and she's singing. And all I remember is just hearing my dad. The bedroom was like above our living room. All I hear is like his like foot stomping because like there's just like two kids just like banging on the drums and stuff. And they're just trying to sleep. <laughs> like so rude. Why did I do that? Not gonna lie, I see you as the drummer. Heck yeah. I love I love the percussions. I love the percussions. They're the most fun for me, honestly. You used to play the drums and sing by yourself. Like at the same time, because that's hard. That's very, very hard. <laughs> the rock band drummer to queer pipeline. Like you're not wrong, Al. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's so true. Oh, the drums were the best, though. I remember, like, I remember the old drums had this issue where, like, the snare or whatever, it, it kind of glitched out because you, like, if you hit it a bunch, it, like, sometimes the sensor wouldn't always work. So I remember there was, like, a hack that I had to do. I had to cut up a mouse pad and tape it to it so it would actually register, like, the, the beat when you hit it. So random. My my rock band setup looks so scuffed because I used it so much. Yo, Mayo, thank you so much for that uh, follow. I appreciate it. You see me as the kid uh, banging frantically on the drums? Yep. Yeah, you feel like a rock star. It's so fun. I think Big Tiny Duck, I don't know if she's still... I don't have my copy of rock band anymore, and I don't think I have the guitars or anything. I think those got... Those got um, donated in a move or something. I wonder if Big Tiny Duck has it because I would play the like crap out of that, honestly. Does anybody remember the old Sonic um, games? No, my cousins had... Okay, I don't know if this is the old, old ones. I think it's like the Sega Saturn. My cousin had those ones and they were so good. I was obsessed with them. And they had like an Earthworm Gym game that was also really fun, but really hard and sca also spooky. I remember being really afraid to play them. Oh no, yours are gone too, Big Tiny Duck. No, I wanted to play. We'll have to find like a set somewhere. You still have Guitar Hero 3 disc and guitar? Yo, boot that up. What are you doing? What are you doing, Ryan? <laughs> boot that up right now. <laughs> and also stream it so I can watch. That's the kind of DIY you do to a normal drum kit can confirm this. 
taping toilet tissue to drums to dampen the overtones. I had no idea. I knew that people used to put like um pillows and bed sheets in the is it like the bass drum? The kick drum. You put like to dampen the noise of it. Your brother sold your rock band stuff. Oh, what a tragedy. So sad. We're all in the same boat, it seems, chat. We're all in the same boat. Grinding old games for gamer points on Xbox. I forgot about the gamer points. Oh my gosh, you're all bringing back so many memories. I remember like really caring about my Xbox 360 profile, like the gamer points in particular and the achievements. Bruh, Viva Pinata, I remember that. That game was actually kind of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're bringing back so many memories. Blinks, I don't think I've ever heard of Blinks for the Xbox. Soup's made you much warmer? Heck yeah. Soup always hits the spot when you're not feeling well. You keep all your old gaming stuff. You still got your GameCube packed up with all its games. Yo, yes. We have most of our stuff. Like, I have, like, my Nintendos, my Playstations. Just, like, kind of packed away because they take up a lot of space. But there's some things I did get rid of, like the Rock Band stuff. I think I got rid of the Rock Band stuff because it was mostly on its way out anyway. Like, it was pretty haggard, and I think some of them had started to break, but still sad that I got rid of it. I kept all the games, though, for sure. You're debating on getting Splat uh, Splatoon for the Switch. I think I have a copy of it. I haven't played it in a while, but the it is a fun game. It's fun to mess around on. You live for the nostalgias? Heck yeah, me too, honestly. You got the Pokemon Blue? I think I got... I got Red, and then I got the... What's the Pikachu one? The yellow one. Was it, like, a separate game? I don't remember. But I have, like, a yellow Pikachu one as well. Oh, no, your battery's corroded. No... Those things are very valuable in the days if you have the box, bro. Don't even tell me that. I think we got rid of our boxes. I'm so sad. I have the OG boxes to some of our N64 games. Like, I think I have Banjo-Kazooie still, but most of them are gone by now. I wish we had kept the boxes. They're so cool. Okay, I think that's enough for my picks. Ooh, it's raining. Scary. Yo, Vexer, welcome back. What's going on? We're just uh, taking a trip down memory lane with the uh, games right now. We're talking about um, all of our childhood games that we loved. I had the turquoise Game Boy Color. And I was very, very excited about it. I loved that thing so much. My cousin, she had... Uh, which one did she have? Oh, she had the, the clear purple one. You all know which one I'm talking about. Like, the transparent one. It was so cool. I was, like, kind of jealous of it, but I also loved my turquoise one. Oops. Heck yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what we got to do next with this thing. What should we do next? I'm going to keep like terraforming around this thing. I think I'll do some coarse dirt and stuff. We still have to, like, leave space for... Ow. A build on the hill. So we'll kind of, like... Do coarse dirt around this to kind of designate that area. I still think, like, maybe, like, a gazebo and a little flower garden. Like you all said. Yo, Emil, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. You had the transparent purple one. Um... 
had some gamer rage on Scooby Doo of all things on Scooby Doo and sent it flying into a wall and it didn't survive. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later, Big Tiny Doug. Thank you so much for popping in. I hope you're having a good day at work. You're the lime green one. Heck yeah, that's cool. I always loved the transparent ones. That was such a thing in like the 2000s. Like transparent things. It made like, I don't know. Everything was transparent. We had like phones that were transparent. Uh, controllers. So many things. Bruh. I remember like honestly nowadays if I was a kid playing video games now like controllers would stand no chance because I remember like me and my friend getting super into like the Donkey Kong games and if we like died on a level we'd like whip the Nintendo controller. <laughs> You'd just be like <laughs> and then I'm like thank god we don't have like modern day controllers because they would have been goners for sure. Totally gone. Didn't get a notification that I was on. Oh, that's weird. Uh, did I stream yesterday? No, I did not. I was off yesterday and the day before. But we back today and honestly probably tomorrow. I'm really liking streaming. It's fun. <laughs> also, welcome in day. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, do I need some rooted dirt with this? Maybe. Oop. Or maybe some granite. Or packed mud. Ooh. Jeez, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here was, uh, was Red. You got the Game Boy Advance in, uh, working order through... In working order. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I had the, I had the Game Boy Advance and then the Game Boy Color. I don't remember how long I had the Game Boy Advance for, though. I had a little- I had it for a little bit before the Game Boy Color came out, I think. The Game Boy Color was, like, revolutionary, though, from what I remember. Like, I remember being blown away by it. And also- oh yeah, that's what it was. It was, like, the- when I was talking about the Pikachu Pokemon game, it was, like, the yellow console, or whatever, the yellow cartridge. And then, for the Game Boy Color, I think I had, like, red and blue. But specifically about red and blue, I think what blew my mind about it was that there was, like, night and day in the game. And it wasn't like that in the original game. There was never... There was never, like, a night and day setting. I should put this in just chatting instead of Minecraft, honestly. <laughs> We're deep into the nostalgia chats today. Love it, though. Yo, Hoif, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? It's so nice to see ya. We're deep in the nostalgia chats right now. Video game nostalgia. Found out your sister went to the hospital yesterday because of dehydration. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything uh, gets better soon though. Okay, I need to... Take a little fly out and see what this looks like. I'm still thinking like a- oh. I am stuck in this water. Help me. Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing great. We're just chilling today. We're just chatting away. And right now we're working on kind of making this area. We're filling this all up with stone pathing. And now we're making like a little or like organic garden on top of this little hill. And it's coming along really well. I can't believe how much we've actually gotten done today. It's looking pretty good. And we're just chilling and vibing today. It's it's awesome. Boop. All right, I think what I'm going to do is keep filling this in with some moss, and then we'll keep going in with the coarse dirt and stuff after. Looking good? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's uh, turning out right now. Okay, we're going to need some bone meal. Game Boy SP. I remember we bought one randomly, and I couldn't, couldn't even tell you why, because I think me and my sister ended up not using it that much. I don't even, like, I don't remember what was better about it than, like, the color 
and all of those. Maybe it was just like more compact or something. And was that the one with like the smaller cartridges as well? They kind of changed the size of them at that point. I also remember in college, everybody getting obsessed with like the 3DS, I think. We all like suddenly started, I don't even know why, just like out of nowhere, like people got really into having a 3DS. I think it was for like Animal Crossing New, was it New Leaf or something? Don't fully remember. Oh, it had the backlight because the Game Boy Color didn't. And you used to have, you could buy an attachment for the Game Boy Color that had the backlight. Oh my gosh, I remember that now. I remember like trying to play at night and you couldn't. You would literally have to have a light on or have like one of those goofy little like Nintendo lights that like clip to it. That is so funny. POV, you just left a Christmas party and it's late at night. On your drive home, you pull out your Game Boy. You can only play it when the street lights go by. Life is good. That, that just hit me. That just hit me. That really does remind me of being a kid. Oh my gosh. The holidays bring out all kinds of nostalgia, I swear. We're on the big nostalgia train today. You've never had a unique experience confirmed. None of us have, Al. That just con confirms it, eh? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, the Game Boy did have a lot of extras. Oh, do you remember, like, the Game Boy... It was like the Game Boy picture or something. You could take selfies on it and it would like print it off and it looked like it was like on like a receipt. <laughs> it was so bad. Like the quality was actually so horrid. But like I remember wanting it so bad and my my mom was like, no, it's so expensive. Like you can't have that. <laughs> I think I can put away any of my other shulker boxes. Hold on a second. Your friend said that uh, your friend said that I sound so Canadian and she lives in the same city as you and we're just Canadian. Yeah, I have a very thick Southern Ontario accent, I would say. <laughs> it's all good, though. Oh no, chat. I don't know where I put my other shulkers. Where did I put them? The Canadian accent is very thick on thick for me. It's so funny. What am I working on? We're working on just this area around here. We're filling all of this with stone, getting a nice pathway. And right now we're working on a cute little like garden top right here. Also, holding the cable, trying to feel the Pokemon passing through. Okay, you know what? Elle's right. Where none of us have ever had a unique experience in our lives. What is going on? That is so freaky. Bruh, I remember... I remember trading a Pokemon through that cable, which honestly was pretty wild that you could do that back then. Like, that was pretty revolutionary. But I remember the first day I got that cable, my friend had convinced me to trade him one of my like really good Pokemons for one of his like really crappy ones and I didn't really realize that I was getting scammed until the trade had gone through and it was too late and then I was really sad about it and it, it was so sad because I got the cable I was so excited that I had it and then my friend totally just like scammed me out of my Pokemon <laughs> still sad about it Selma demands cuddles right now. Oh, if a, if a cat or honestly any animal is demanding cuddles, you, you gotta give it to them. Ruth is fast asleep still. She, if she gets up, we're gonna do Ruth cam. Uh, what do I need again, chat? Spruce. Spruce. That's what we need. Need lots and lots of spruce. I think we're gonna do like a little gazebo thingy over there. Didn't realize you had a thick accent, so that must mean you also have a thick Canadian accent. I never realized I did either until it got pointed out to me, like, quite a while ago, and I was like, ah, yes. I can hear it within myself now. 
if you're anywhere close to me, Strat, you're probably doomed as well. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven? Nah. Actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that too big? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. I kind of wanted this to be like a little bit of an enchanting area. So it is going to have to be pretty big. We can always terraform a little bit more going out this way and have more of like a steep cliff, cliff drop off. So if we go something like this. I think that should be okay. I mean, if chat if we hate it we'll get rid of it because it's not going to be like a super big build anyway we're just doing like a little gazebo thingy mm -hmm. honestly it's this is more, more so decoration than it is functionality but it will be nice if we have like another secondary like enchanting area as well possibly do that Ruth cam yeah we we're gonna try to do a Ruth cam today so let's try something like this yes this is right oops oops Misplacing all the blocks today, chat. I can hear a bunch of like skeletons and zombies underneath me. My bad. There's probably like an unlit cave underneath me. There we go. Drift's first experience of scammers was her closest friend. Exactly. How horrible is that, huh? Kids, man. Kids. Kids just being mean to one another. Being conniving. Mm. What blocks do we have for this? I feel like I dig the granite, but I want a granite wall. Probably strip spruce then. Crafting table. Need a crafting table, chat. Boop. Grab that. Accidental mar mob farm, yes! Get all the loot. Guaranteed there's probably like tons of mobs underneath me piled up by now. Okay, uh, what did I say I wanted? Yes. This. This is exactly what I wanted. Spruce here. Spruce, oops. Here, here, and here. Boop, boop, boop. This is a nice little view. Okay, I'm glad we didn't get rid of this. Because I was considering, like, just completely flattening this whole area. I was like, I don't know if this is necessary, but this is, like, a nice little view to our farmland and stuff. I like it. Dang. Can I get a heck yeah in chat? The wood blocks are so expensive, right? I know. Woodcutter, please. Please. Bruh, sometimes when I can't find Ruth, I panic, but then she, like, crawls out of the most random spot, and I'm like, dude, what were you even doing? What were you even doing? And she was like, I was hanging out, obviously, and I was like, like, okay, sorry, Ruth. Sorry. My bad. Heck yeah, you mean swag. Yeah, let's go. Let's get some swags in chat. It's been a while. Big swags. Where did I put this crafting table? What? Bruh. Chat, where did I put the crafting table? Oh, is it up there? I see. Well, if everything's moved up there, I should probably at least move this guy, this, and this up there. 
make it a little bit easier so we're not going back and forth. Oh yeah, we got the swags in chat. We got the swags in chat. <laughs> Love to see it. I forgot I bought eggnog the other day. I still need to, um, I need to drink it. I'm very excited about that. I don't know if you're all, like, big fans of the eggnog, but... But I can also understand why, because it's, like, definitely an acquired taste. It is a little bit weird. Eggnog is OP. Heck yeah, let's go. You know what's up, Loghead. You know what's up. You would like to have another way to get iron than killing golems. You think they're very cute. I know. I I feel kind of bad. They're just chilling. Like, they're just protecting their little, like, villager homies. I, I feel bad, too. Don't worry. I get that. Could I show my house? Like, a little tour? We could do, like, a quick little tour if you want. We'll do a little fly around. So this is my little um, starter house over here. We've got a path going to our little enchanting room. We still will use it though. It's okay. See, I'm the one thing I'm worried about with doing an enchanting table over there is that we'll never visit this again. But I don't know. Maybe we could just put something in the middle of um, the gazebo instead so we get use out of this little area. And then we've got over here our little log cabin with these like massive trees. Oh my gosh, they're so leafy. These are the leafiest spruce trees I've ever seen. So we've got a little log cabin here and this is where our string trades are and our we trade sticks. And then if you go into this farmland over here, this is my favorite part of the uh of our base. We got our little storage room which we need to upgrade so bad. Got like a little log cabin here where we keep seeds and stuff. A little fishing hut over here that connects to this river. So we got this and then you got like a nice view to the house too. I love that. I love having everything like connected on a body of water. I think it just like, I don't know. It also made our early game much easier because we were legitimately using the body of water to travel around. We've got this little farmland here by the windmill. I love this area. We like chilled for so long making this farmland. It was so worth it in the end though. So we got like our little windmill. And then if you follow the path here, we just built this out the other day. Yo, Lauren, thank you so much for that follow. And also, Kristen, I think I had missed that one. Thank you so much for that follow as well. Uh, we got a little greenhouse here. This is the thing that we did last on stream. And oh, this is my favorite. This is the swaggiest. Look at this. Boop. This is where we have our little bee farm. I love this room though, with like all the spore blossoms and stuff. It's so cool. My favorite. I think this is probably my favorite build. Oh, and also you can't forget, we also have like the Tower of Mordor here. <laughs> this is my creeper farm. It's unhinged. We still have to finish it though. We gotta finish it. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh that's mostly everything right now. I was doing the enchanting area on the long play I was watching. I've accomplished so much more. It's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, we've gotten pretty far in this world. Pretty far. I think at the last... I, oh, yeah, we also have... I forgot about this. This was... I think we did this, what, a couple weeks ago? Chat? I don't remember. We did this on YouTube a couple weeks ago. We have, like, this really nice area going down into our mine. I love it. And we have, like, a little axolotl pond and stuff. This is... I think this is actually my second second favorite build that we did. Just like, I always love doing like lush cave and like organics like this. I think it's so fun. Got like a little axolotl pond there. I think we're doing pretty good. The land looks so good. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Yeah, I'm really proud of what we've done. Yo, Lola, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, and the Halloween build. Bruh, let's just go there really quickly. This was for our charity event. We did like a bunch of stuff around here. 
So it's basically just like a little Halloween town and we told jokes. We built a pumpkin. Um, this was like the dispenser of misfortune. I think there's probably still stuff in here. Whatever it says I have to do, I'm not doing it though. No sleeping for a night. I mean, we could do that. That's easy, but there were some pretty bad ones. I remember I had to like throw my pick into lava and stuff like that. It was, or not my pick, a, a diamond tool. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Did I bring the extra axolotl? Yes, we already, uh, we got him into his home. Sorry, your English is basic. Love the stream. Oh, thank you so much. And no worries whatsoever. No worries at all. Thank you so much for being here. It's so nice to have you around. You're wearing an axolotl hoodie. Aw, cute. Gonna go play Minecraft and lurk? Heck yeah, Mama Witch. You enjoy that Minecraft. You enjoy it. Yeah, I'm so happy with, like, how far this world has come. It's been so fun. So, so fun to make this with you all. Just been such a blast. We started this one, like, I would say, did I start streaming on this world in August, was it, on YouTube? I think. And we've been going for quite a, quite a while now. Do I have the rare axolotl? I don't think I do. I forget what color it is, but I don't think I do. Is it like blue or something? Right now we only have like a bunch of brown axolotls, yellow, and I think white. It was a diamond hoe. Oh yeah, that's what we had to throw into the fire. It was a diamond hoe. It was so sad. I was very upset about it. <laughs> we finally got one in the deep dark the other day though. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Is it too square though? Hold on. It feels kind of square around the bottom, but I feel like we could fix that up by literally adding some more slabs here and probably some like leaves around it to make it feel a little bit more circular. You know what I mean? I think we could fix that. That's not, like, a mega issue. Upsetty spaghetti. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you never seen blue axolotls in your world? Honestly, don't take my word for it. They probably do not exist. Just how uh, copper tools do not exist, chat. They do not exist. Yo, Nikki, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Mmm... Oh, yeah, I was going to grab bricks. I don't know if we have any right now. Yo, oh my gosh, Waxy. Oh, it's Wax, everybody. Yo, Wax. Welcome on in, Raiders. Thank you so much, Waxy, for that raid. Let's get, let's get some big swags in chat for Waxy and all of the Raiders coming in. Yo, welcome on in, everybody. How are you all doing? Waxy, how is your stream? Frog, I'll kill the chicken for you tomorrow. I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, big swag. What's going on, everybody? How are you all doing? Thank you so much, Wax. I really, really appreciate that. Let's get a big old shout out in chat for Waxy and his gang coming on in. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Hill for the follow. Gary in space. Real noodles. Uh, Rose. Elias. Ooh, Quinn the Onion like that name that's cool thank you so much how you doing how's your stream waxy what's going on get rated stinky drift <laughs> oh geez i'm just forever stinky aren't i what's going on raiders what what would what, what'd you work on today waxy what were you working on today what was the vibe oh yeah i forgot you were also having frog issues the other day as well did you ever sort that out was it like some glitch or something Ah, uh, here we go. Thank you for getting that shout out in. Everybody on my channel, please go follow Wax right away. If if you haven't followed Wax, what are you doing? Because you know what? Fellow long player, Bloodlines, certified swag. 
he's got the illest chillest vibes and all of that stuff carries over onto his streams chillest streams ever and also best music best music like your playlist is just top tier dude top tier playlist you're preparing for your 200 or 2000 days hardcore video oh nice awesome that's awesome can't believe you already reached that too it feels like you just had done your thousand days but it's probably been a couple months now that i think about it honestly time is just like whack right now i feel like time goes by way too quickly we are today um we are working on so we finished off our greenhouse from the other day that's pretty much the finished product and now today we are kind of filling this area in with a bunch of stone and making like a nice little like pathway along here we're gonna have like market stalls and stuff like that this is our sheep farm and we're kind of working on right now like a little organic like hilltop right here with a gazebo and i think we're gonna put in probably an enchanting table or something like that make it a little bit useful like we want it to look good but we also want it to have a little bit of function too it looks so pretty oh thank you thank you sev i appreciate that wax be grinding hard let's go let's go Wax, you're like the most efficient at this game. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I feel like I just get so, so sidetracked too. It's so funny. I have like a million things going on at once. Thousand days video was one month ago. Dang. Dang, Wax, you do be grinding hard. That's, I can't believe you reached it. That's crazy. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see uh, your 2000 days vid. You still think the frogs are escaping somehow? Oh no, they just disappeared like 50 of them. I feel like, I feel like they're probably escaping somehow then, unfortunately. <laughs> that or like there is some weird unknown glitch or something, but gotta get that sorted. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Whoops. You feel that you always get distracted, Sev? always i always do i don't know why i always like because i'm always flying to and from my base for resources and then i'm like oh what's this pretty thing over here and then before i know it i'm like going into the deep dark and i'm like well that was fun <laughs> it's so silly oops need to get some azalea leaves up in here by the way So I think we'll just use this as the rooftop for the gazebo. We got to get some leaves in here and probably some glow berries and stuff like that. We just have to add a little bit more circular shape to the bottom as well. I think we're going to do that maybe with like pathing or something. So if we do this instead, it will help kind of like give the illusion of more of a circular shape so it doesn't look as boxy. Got to round things off a little bit here. Didn't realize you were on Twitch as well. Drift, glad Wax rated you so you can know. Oh, thank you so much to Little Red. And also, it's so nice to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Heck yeah, we just got on um, Twitch over the past weekend, actually. It has not been that long. It's literally been like four streams, I think, and I'm having so much fun. Your world is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Cheyenne. I really appreciate that. Now that you're uh, streaming on Twitch more often, you'll see the world come together faster. With YouTube and Twitch, worlds spring up uh, so quickly. Yeah, totally. Exactly. I find that, honestly, it's a lot like streaming kind of motivates you to like push forward on projects. Whereas if you're doing like you're filming it and that's all you're doing and you're just kind of like sitting alone in a room and you're like, well, I have to work on this project, but like nobody is watching me do it. Like, I don't know. Sometimes you just get like lonely and stuff, you know? Okay, I do need a little bit more flowering azalea. Hmm. I think I had azalea. Oh yeah, I had a bunch of bushes over here. We could just bone meal. Yo, Zilly Zuko, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Nye, Cozy, Firefighter Bud, Amanda, Kyla, uh, Black Sheep. It's a surprise, a little red. Thank you everybody so much for the follows. I really, really appreciate it. And thanks again, Waxy. Always appreciate it. And Lil Marzina, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it as well. Okay, let's get some of these leaves. 
Azalea leaves so OP, honestly. And also the noise they make. They're so, like, crunchy and dry. <laughs> Yeah, that's a thing with us. You never know if we're gonna, like, just, like, have a chill stream, but then all of a sudden go into the deep dark. Very unpredictable. That's what happened in a couple streams ago. We ended up hanging out in the deep dark for some reason. It was a fun time, though. I really liked the deep dark. My first experience was honestly, like, it could have been worse. I didn't- I actually didn't die, which is very surprising for me. But genuinely, it was like a really fun challenge. I, I'm looking for a reason to go back, honestly. We don't really have a reason at the moment because we got our swift sneak, which is also very OP. But I would love for a reason to go back eventually. Which shaders am I using? Yeah, I'm using complimentary shaders. However, I did really like I spent a couple hours tweaking them. If you are if because you're on complimentary reimagined right now, right, Waxy? If you ever want my settings, I can probably send them to you because I think you're using sodium as well. Yo, Martina, what's going on? How are you doing? Warden hugs? Yeah, we, we love a good warden hug. Yo, that was scary. Okay, the warden was terrifying, though. There was one point where he sprung up, like, right underneath me, and I was like, all right, this is the end of poor old Drift. This is how I go, but... But we were good. We were good. We were, uh, we were chilling. Yo, Dark, thank you so much for that follow. Same with Banana. Thank you so much as well. Appreciate all the love. And Loli, thank you so much for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love, guys. Okay, let's replace some of these roof pieces with some... There we go. Some leaves. The warden is so scary. Totally. I was actually, like, literally terrified of it. But, like, it was fun, you know? He's spooky, but, like, I don't know. He ain't got nothing on Drift. I, I got out of there. A anytime he sprung up, like, the amount of times I triggered the warden was probably not good. <laughs> I made so many mistakes, but I would just dip on out of there. I'd be like, see ya, dude. Just fly away. Hey, they're getting a chance to say hi, sitting in the parent pickup line. Oh, hey, Miss Parker. Hope you're having a great day, and thank you so much for popping by. Appreciate it. Been watching your YouTube videos for ages. I can't believe I just found you on Twitch now. You only found me on Twitch now. Don't worry. I've been here literally only four days. This is like our fourth stream on Twitch. Yeah, you, you haven't missed much. Don't worry. And I'm so excited to be here. This has been like honestly super, super fun. I'm loving Twitch so far. I finally made the move. We were streaming on YouTube before, and this is basically our stream world that we were working on from YouTube. But uh, recently I decided to give Twitch a shot to see how I like it, and it's just been incredible so far. It's been lots and lots of fun. Okay, so if we do something like this, we'll have tons of room for an enchanting table. We'll probably have it like face this way. Or, hmm, maybe this way. I don't think we're going to do a path behind. Rather, I feel like if anything, we would wrap a path kind of down this way and around the little waterfall we have. We could kind of go both ways too, actually. Just came to the stream and enjoying it. Oh, welcome on in and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Today is not his lucky day. Uh, today is not his lucky day. Chat. I'm suddenly very thirsty. Don't? Okay. <laughs> I'll leave him for now. Yeah, it's free leads though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do it. Fine. I'll leave him. What am I supposed to do? He's He just like wanders around. He like doesn't leave my stuff alone. You know? Like... Just go, go, dude. If you know what's good for you. Come on, man. He's a friend. He's no friend of mine. No friend of mine. <laughs> he like tramples my crops and stuff. It's so annoying though. Fine, maybe I'll be nice to him today. I'll be nice to him today. 
Yo, Bear, thank you so much for the follows. Thank you, Koza, as well. He wants to sell you candy. Yeah, he, like, crushes all of our crops. He never gets us anything. Like, like, look at these trades. An entire emerald for a cornflower? I can literally walk into any field and get that. Same with a pumpkin. Like, really? An entire emerald? Three for kelp? Bro, I can literally go into the water here and grab kelp. Like... It's ridiculous. I could put the llamas in the boats. Yeah, I could. I'll leave them for now. I'm done. I'm done complaining about them. I'll leave them for now. <laughs> mm, okay. So we need some stuff to enchant, which means we need tons of books. And boy, oh boy. Do we have books? We have tons over here. We have like a mountain of books from that time I went to the stronghold and I kept taking them. Oh wait, do I not have- Oh, I only have 31 now, dang. We really went through them. Oh wait, no, we still got- Yeah, that's how many books we have. Because we went to the stronghold and I found the library and I got a little bit- Um, I was just like, wow, that's a lot of books. And I took them all and Stobbles was like, that's too many books. And I was like, you can never have too many books. Come on. And now look, they're coming in handy. So Drift was right. Drift was right. How long have I been in this world? I would say we've been in this world since August, I'm pretty sure. And we've been trying to do at least one to two streams on YouTube a week from it. So we're we're getting there with this world. Okay, let's make a bunch of bookshelves. 20. I think that should be enough. <laughs> How many do you even need for an enchanting table? Isn't it like 7 or something? <laughs> um is this gonna fit? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. How big does an enchanting. Sir, you're in the way, sir. Sir. Don't cramp my style here. This isn't too big, right? How many do we need for this? I don't think. I think this is in the wrong spot. Uh, I don't have sick silk touch on my pickaxe or on my axe, though. I have to break that. Same with these two, I think. My bad. Then we just need an enchanting table in the middle. <laughs> Reaper Kitty, you really want this wandering trader gone? <laughs> you're like, <laughs> didn't you say you're thirsty, Drift? <laughs> Take a sip of water. 15? Okay, 15's not bad. That means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, we have a lot here. We have a lot. We can replace some of them with looms too. We just need an actual enchanting table now. Diamonds and obsidian, bro. We have so much obsidian from all of that stuff we mined earlier. This is perfect. Just need a couple diamonds that we can go get. Yo, Kerrigan, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Do the kale fine. <laughs> I'm guys, I'm thirsty after I go get this uh jeez. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm going to do it. Uh after I get the diamonds. <laughs> you're all evil. I thought I was bad, but you're worse. You're all worse. <laughs> Wait, do we need the corners of this bookshelf? I'm confused now. <laughs> do it? Okay, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Thirsty for blood, exactly. Um, hmm. oh, I'm gonna make an enchanting table, except chat, I'm so thirsty right now. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> chat, I just need to take like a quick little sip of water. Hold on a second. Oh, but my water's actually like in the other room. I'll be back in a second, hold on. Oh, that was really good water. That was that water was so good. Mm. 
Sorry, I just had to take a sip of water really quickly. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, though. Don't worry. We're going to make our enchanting table now. What sound? What are you guys talking about? I'm lost. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I just had like a tickle in my throat, Sev. That's probably what you were hearing. That's probably what you're hearing. Just a little tickle because I just needed, I was talking a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's obviously the sound of me sipping water. Come on. Come on. What are you all, what are you all insinuating here? Yeah, you heard nothing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yo, Andy Score, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. What, why is there leather in my inventory? There's so much like random garbage all of a sudden. That's so weird. So weird. We. Okay, the only thing I need is probably like, I feel like we need a loom or like some looms for like a broken bookshelf type vibe or empty bookshelf. Sorry. Yo, Blitz, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome on in. Heck yeah, we got... I'm like the number one villager trader. Not villager trader, wandering trader killer, honestly. It's probably where all this leather comes from at this point. Oh yeah, I needed string. How does one make a loom again? Let's see. Ah, like that. Three's probably good. Boop. <laughs> we laugh, but it could be any of us next. <laughs> you think something bad happened to the little guy and the llamas, but you don't know? Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't there when it happened. That's so weird. Yeah, they're not there anymore. Do you think something bad happened to them, chat? Oh, my gosh, I feel so bad. They were so cute, and that guy was so nice. I feel really bad. Do you think they're okay? Oh, now I'm worried. Should I be worried? Am I next? Chat. Uh, ba 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 ba. Fun fact number one, you can always feel your tongue. Why? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, now I'm just going to be conscious of that. That's not fun. That's not a fun fact. Now I'm just going to be thinking about that the whole time. No. Bruh. Why? Did I get rid of too many bookshelves? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, I did. Not cool. Let's put two back in just in case. We got to get our lapis as well, just so we have a stash over here. Boop. It's giving, am I the drama? <laughs> am I the drama? <laughs> Wasn't me. Don't know what you're all talking about. Don't know what you're all talking about. Yeah, no, no chaos. Just, oh, you want to play... I thought you were saying no chaos, just vibes to this stream. Seven, I want to play Vault Hunters on stream with you. Okay, let's do it. I'm in. Let's get a let's get a little Discord going. I'm totally down for that. No chaos, just vibes means the opposite. I think everybody in chat can attest to that. That sounds like a straight up lie. <laughs> that sounds so sus. No chaos. I promise. It's just gonna be vibes. I swear. <laughs> I'm in. I'm sold. You don't even have to, don't even have to ask. Mm, okay, we're done with the books. I need some lapis just to make sure our table's all good to go. Have a ton at the old enchant, ye old enchanting station. Yo, not cake. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Anytime there's chaos, you know I'm down for it. You know I'm down.
The amount of pants I have in here are wild. But that was from the deep dark. I just found like an insane- It was like a, a department store for pants down there. I don't know why. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking real nice. I like that. Very cute. Whee! Swag. Mm, okay, what were we gonna do? I was gonna throw my lapis here. I need to make a chest. We'll have a little chest hanging out here. So we can easily access stuff. Pretty sure this is a uh, level whatever we need it to be. Oh wait, I can't test it with like an actually enchanted thingamajig. Let's just make one just to be sure. A wooden shovel, if you will. 28! Do these not register as like a... Uh, are those too far away? Is it too high that they need to be? I don't remember. But I did it wrong, chat. So it's good that I checked that out. Yo, Sir Hunt, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? I done messed up. Done messed up. All the cool kids are here today? Yeah, me. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. You know? White guys? <laughs> Yo, Kira, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Is this too high? That work? Okay, what about now? 30! We got it. We got there, chat. We got there. It took a second, but you know, we did it. We did it. You think I'm the coolest? Aw. Thanks, Ryan. I think you're the coolest, too. Let's pop a lantern right there. Maybe right here. And then we can get like some cool plant pots and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shovel. The shovel can just go away. We don't need it anymore. It was just a, a little test. Uh, clay balls. That's not what I want. We need... A furnace. We need a furnace, chat. There we go. Bop. Put this in here. Toss a couple of these. They have a bunch of, like, azalea trees and stuff that we can use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Very cool. So I'm thinking our path... Oh, it doesn't make sense for the path to go from here because the bookshelves are gonna be... Oh, I'm wrecking all of my dirt and stuff that I put down. That's okay, though. Yeah, that should be more than enough space. Let's see what that looks like. Cute! I like that. I think that's pretty neat. Just needs like a little bit more light in there and stuff. Wee. Ooh, yeah, grindstone would look really cool too. Three blocks high doesn't work? Okay. I always, like, I never know what, like, what actually is the height limit. So we'll get rid of those if we don't need them, because honestly, the height doesn't look as cool. We can put other stuff on top. So maybe we can do a couple like flower pots and stuff and hear me out, a couple pieces of granite. Granite would look kind of cute on top, I think. Boop. Boop. Aw, Ruth, you're so cute. She just moved around and I'm like, wow, Ruth, you're the cutest thing ever. You're so nice. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love Ruth. <laughs> Reaper Kitty. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> that is just twisted. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need a couple lights in the middle, I think. It's still kind of dark, so I think maybe a couple hanging lanterns would look kind of cool. We do have the iron now. And we do have this coal. Swag! We've accomplished so much today, chat. Look at us go. I'm so proud of us. We did it. We did so many things.
Yo, Starbucks, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Uh, do I have an idea of how long I'm going to be streaming for? So we're on to about four hours, probably for a little bit longer, I would say. I would say at least like another 20 to 30 minutes for sure. I want to finish up some of this area and then, um, then we'll probably be done with it today. I think we got a good chunk done though. I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. Just gonna do one more fly out really quickly. Yeah, cool. Okay, so while that's burning, I'm just gonna fix up this path a little bit more. We'll do dirt for now. Cause we got, we basically, it's gonna end up being probably stone or something. Or maybe not, maybe we'll keep it dirt. It'll be like an offshoot of this area over here. Cause this is gonna be like a giant stone path. Maybe we'll have like a little cheeky little offshoot coming from about here, I would say. Something like this. And then we'll kind of wrap around this mountain here. I'm actually really glad we kept this mountain. It's looking pretty fresh. Let's bring out the base of this a little bit further. Just like this. And the path will go to here. Don't need this moss here anymore. Go away. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice chat. Very nice. Cool. Swag. When am I going to be streaming again? Um, honestly, if I, if I can do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it tomorrow. We might have to run out, uh, and do some errands tomorrow though. But if not, I'm going to do tomorrow at 12 PM. And if I don't get to get to streaming tomorrow, sorry, we're going to do, um, probably what day is the day after? Sorry, Wednesday, Friday, Friday for sure. Definitely for sure Friday. And it's always at the same time, it'll be 12 p.m. EST. If anything, like maybe on the odd chance, like I might start at 11.30 or like, or 11, but probably not. I try to keep it consistent to 12 p.m. EST just to make it really simple for everybody. Live, laugh, love, drink coffee, and repeat. Agree. Agree. I feel like I could go for a coffee again, but I'm like, I literally just had a tea, so I'm like, I don't know. That's, that's enough liquids for me today, probably, you know? And especially, like, caffeinated liquids. I need to cool it. Oops. Heck yeah. That is looking pretty fresh. The one thing I don't, I might end up changing honestly the looms because I'm like, if I keep the looms here, I feel as though I might have to hide them. And really, I the only best way you could hide it through a gazebo like this is probably leaves. And I don't know if I want that many leaves around. Oops, this one would be pretty easy. We could do that. We could just make this a leafy boy. Honestly, I think so. I think this will be okay. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Swag. Yo, Keone, what's going on? Welcome in. I face reveal again. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My second one, <laughs> apart from my video. Go get a Gatorade? Oh, I wish. I don't have Gatorade. I'm gonna have to go and buy a case. You've all convinced me. <laughs> don't get me on the Gatorade train again. That was like a- that was a rough time. I- I loved Gatorade for like a solid like three months. It was like I was constantly buying cases and for what? I had the sniffles for about a week and then like 
Gatorade was my jam for the next three months. Oh yeah, we could do trap doors actually. That's a good call. That's a really good call. Okay, um... Let's try jungle trap doors. Building's looking really swag. Oh, thank you, Reaper Kitty. I'm I'm happy with how that whole area has turned out so far. At least we've got more of a clear picture of what we want to do with all of the pathing and stuff, so. Ah, jungle trap doors. Perfect. We Look at that. Once we put like bigger builds in to make this one not look so lonesome it'll it'll look a lot better too uh ed sheeran there you are Boop. yeah i think that's that's better. And closes the bookcase, too. All right, chat, I got to refill my water really quickly. It's pretty much done. Um, I want to keep streaming for a little bit longer, so let me go get some water quickly, and I will be back in, like, a couple of minutes, all right? Hello, I'm back. Al, you said we're both going to get hooked on Gatorade again? Totally. I think Ruth, Ruth is up. Hold on. Little Ruth Cam. Hello. Hmm. You can go down. She's giving herself a little bath. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's still kind of sleepy. She's probably going to go back to bed for a bit longer. Little Ruthie. Ruthie misses you, Al. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. She's such a little sweetie. She was so good at the vet yesterday. She, I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad because um, we took her and poor little thing peed herself in the cat carrier. I felt so bad. Probably because she didn't go before we left. But how do you communicate that to a cat? Like, oh, go to the bathroom before we go to the vet. But the vet wiped her down, gave her a little, little pad for her carrier afterwards. It was so cute. She was so good, though. Like, she was obviously not thrilled to be there. Like, she was kind of scared. But she kind of calmed down and was more so curious after. Need a Ruth Cam compilation? Totally. She's a good girl. She did very, very well. You're going to have to head out tonight. You're a bit sleepier than normal. Thank you so much for so many good vibes. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, Froggy. No worries whatsoever. You go get that rest. And um, let's talk Vault Hunter soon for sure. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, Froggy. I have, hope you have a good night. Also, Martini, I missed that. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Just finished your Minecraft world and I also gave you a follow. Oh, thank you so much, Keone. I appreciate that. Okay, so we've got this for the most part done. Feel like we can add, what would we say, a grindstone? Grindstone look kind of cool. We should have some stone slabs. Yo, Mustard, thank you for that follow. Also, hey, hey, and Volt Battery. Thank you so much for those follows. I appreciate it. You're going to head out too. You have to get powder power. The craving is too real. Totally respect that, Charlie. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for hanging out. Always a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, you enjoy that Powerade. That is a treat. Let's get a chest as well. Why not? Oh yeah, I said I was gonna, the whole thing with the iron was I was gonna make, um, 
some chains. So we gotta make a couple nuggets. And then we can make ourselves some chains. And the rest of these, I think we could just... Hmm. I don't really have any more torches. Let me make a couple extra. Let's make a couple more lanterns as well. We'll need them. <laughs> Two should be fine. One here and then one here that will hang lower, which means I should probably get rid of this one up here because it's just like too in line with it. Oop. I think that works. That's cute. Yeah. Pop. So then we have the path going down here, which we still need to extend some of our um, pathway along here. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Let me do a quick little fly out. That's pretty swag. I like that. Yo, Keith, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? The world is looking good considering it started as a one-off live stream. Right, Pockets? Honestly, that's such a good point. Because I remember when we first started this, it was pretty much just a small build that we were doing. And I honestly didn't know if I was going to continue streaming after I had made that build. Like, the whole idea was to just build a house and see how it goes, and if we want to continue, that's great. If not, we'll figure something else out. And we've been going at it since, and it's cool. It's definitely come a long way, you're right. Bum, bum. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more stone. Because I want to expand this area out a little bit further so we can get the path kind of set up. Just so we know what it's going to look like. Honestly, any chance I get to go into this little cave area, I love it. It's my favorite. Half of chat is going to go to get Gatorade after the stream. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I did even. Like, just run to the convenience store and get a Gatorade for no reason. I don't know why it's so funny, but it's like the most random thing that we talked about today. And we're all like, oh, I'm craving it now for real. <laughs> My builds are so nice. Uh, I'm a one-trick Minecraft builder. Al, let's build together. Let's do it. And also, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Honestly, like, it's... I still feel like there's so many different styles that I have yet to learn. Because I'm still very, like, cottagecore fantasy style. And, like, I need to try my hand at more modern or, like, even futuristic. Steampunk would be really cool. I'm excited to give, like, other styles a shot, for sure. Teach you your way. Teach you my ways. Hell yeah. Let's uh let's do it. That'd be so fun. I'd be so down. A lot of it, honestly, learning Minecraft building, trial and error for sure. Just seeing what works and what doesn't, and then going from there, trying to figure out how the mistake you made, like how to fix it, pretty much. Sorry for missing your stream. Oh, no worries whatsoever. No worries at all. Also, if anybody, I mentioned it before, if anybody ever wants to catch up on the VODs that they may have missed, hit exclamation point VODs in chat. I put up a channel the other day. The first two streams are on there. The third should be going up soon. Only reason it hasn't yet, honestly, is because the uploads take a really long time. But um, definitely go check out that channel if you want to catch some of the past VODs. I have very good taste for building. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. There's so many styles. It's like, I wish I had all the time in the world to, like, just play around with building, too. Because there's so many styles. I'm so excited to, like, give a shot. You know what I mean? Yo, thank you for throwing down those links. I appreciate that.
right, how much stone we got. We're gonna need a heck ton more. This netherite pick is kind of OP. It looks pretty swag, I'm not gonna lie. It's just the armor I'm not super into. I, I don't know why I prefer the um the diamond armor, but I do. But I know I need to make the switch over soon, for sure. You like the netherite helmet? I kind of like how the netherite helmet like extends down further, like further on the face. I think that kind of looks cool. But I don't know the the full netherite armor. I guess it just looks like clunkier or something. I don't know what it is. That I don't really like infinite links. Yes. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there with the amount of stone we need. Boop. I hear bubbles and I'm almost wondering if we're like close to my spider spawner or something. Nah, it's probably further down than this. But also I don't want to accidentally hit it and ruin it. That would suck. <laughs> would not be good at all. Oh! Where's that coming from? Oh, up there. My one issue is, do I have more moss? Might have to get a little bit more moss as well, and then we should be good. Just want to fin make sure we finish off that path so it extends to that, um, the dirt path. And I think I'll be satisfied. We were supposed to do the, uh, villager trades today, but we got a little sidetracked. But you know what? That's pretty common for us. I'm not too sad. We still have time. And I think this kind of, the whole point is that the, um, the villager, uh, breeder is supposed to be going into the area where the sheep farm is. So now that we have more of an actual path rather than just like one build with a bit of stone around it i feel like we can have a little bit of a clearer picture of where we're gonna put like the breeder and all of that other stuff so But once we get that breeder up too, we're going to have a really much easier time getting a trading hall sorted as well. Because we do have most of the trades that we need. We have efficiency. We've got mending, silk touch. Um, the only thing we're missing is stuff for our armor and I think fortune three. So we just got to move those guys over from that uh, village and into a nice hall along with some other trades that we could probably use and then we're good to go. Light that up really quickly, too. Don't want any mobs spawning. All right, I think that should be all right. Do we need more moss, though? That's what I'm worried about. Wee! Oh, that was scary. Uh oh, there's zombies and creepers literally everywhere. My bad, my bad. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want the same thing to happen as last stream where I just was exploded by like hundreds of creepers in one go that was so brutal yeah i see that little creeper there all right uh let's see if there's a little bit more moss oh i see you too no 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 if you know that song you know 
Mob chaos, totally. It's because I always forget to sleep now. I don't know why. It's just never, like, on my fourth, uh... It's never a thought of mine. Uh, 63 moss. Do you think that'll do it for us? Maybe. Let's see. We have a little bit of moss bricks left, too. So we might be good, chat. I added in a couple more songs to this playlist and honestly they've been a they've been a vibe. I took away some of the old ones that like I felt like they came on all the time and too frequently, so I just like changed it up a little bit and I've been digging some of the newer ones. You missed the yeah song? <laughs> Is that the one that was like, yeah, yeah, kind of like that? I forget. It might, it might have, uh, it might have, uh, been taken out of the rotation, sadly. Or it could still be in there, honestly. I think there's, like, I have 200 tracks in this playlist, so there's also a chance that it just doesn't show up anymore. It's like a loud yeah at times. I feel like I know which one you're talking about, and I think it might actually still be in here. It's just, um, there's too many tracks <laughs> running right now, so we don't always hit all of them. Please find it, I want to hear it. Okay, BRB, let me just... <laughs> let me just scrub through my 200 track stream playlist and I'll find it for you guys. <laughs> I'll be quick, I promise. <laughs> Take me all stream. I think this is one of my favorite ones as well from like the OG playlist. I only to Honestly, I think at most I removed like 30, so the chances are the yeah one is still in there. Maybe if we stream long enough, we'll hear it, chat. <laughs> stream doesn't end until we hear the yeah song. This one's a good vibe, though. I always like this one. It's got, like, a nice soft beat and, like, the little guitar, the instrumentals in it. Mm, so fresh. So good. We're nearly there. I say we stop at like this part of the wall anyway. So uh, just bring it all to about here. What's for dinner anyway? We're making frozen pizza. I'm so excited about it. We got like these nice ones from a restaurant that we really like. We found them in the grocery store. And I'm just like very excited. Big Tiny Duck is coming home a little bit later tonight. She's going to have a long day at work. So it's definitely one of those days where it's like we do the easy dinner, you know, but we're both stoked about it. Any toppings we're going to add? No, I don't think so. Um... The toppings, we got like very specific pizzas. So we got a margarita pizza. Then we got a mushroom. Like it's it's like a truffle mushroom pizza. So it's like very rich on its own. And then I think the last one we got was like kind of like a honey heat where it's like honey with um, hot peppers and stuff like that. So good. On occasion though, like if we get certain frozen pizzas, sometimes we do add like certain toppings because there's like... It's like we get the base pizza and then we're like, we'll dress it ourselves, you know? Yeah, I'm very excited. Yo, Azer, what's going on? How you doing? I 
But this is one of those situations where it's like we had to like pop it in the oven and like no sweat. That's it. And it's probably going to be very, very delicious. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, what if I did slabs around like the edge of this guy? I feel like that might work. Your favorite was smoked red pepper pizza. That sounds delicious. Red peppers are just like bomb. I love them. Honestly, I like a good Hawaiian too. I know that's like, that one's also a touchy one where a lot of people are like, no, no Hawaiian. And I'm like, mm, it's kind of good though. Honestly, Hawaiian pizza can be delish. You're all, you're all missing out. I swear. Hmm. Yes, I think something like this is good. Yo, Sunflows, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Trust me, trust me, chat. Hawaiian pizza is delicious. It's a sweet pineapple, and if you get like um jalapenos on it, mmm, delicious, delicious. Oh, jalapeno and pineapple is my go-to pizza. See. How Hawaiian is lush. See, Azzy online Al. Y'all know. Loghead, Hawaiian pizza with jalapenos, go to order. There you go. See? And then like dip it in ranch. See, chat knows. Chat knows. Chat never does me wrong. Look at that. Also, sunflows. Look at that. Also, welcome in, welcome on in sunflows. Oh my gosh. See, we got we got the Hawaiian pizza gang here. I love this. I love this. You usually keep it in the fridge after buying it. Defrosted pizza just gets crispier. I've never done that. That's interesting. I guess if you buy it within like the like and use it within the day that you bought like defrost it. Sorry, it's probably fine. I never thought to do that. It's almost 11 p.m. I'm going to go to sleep. All right, we'll see you later, James. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. So good to be here. You loved the Hawaiian pizza gang. Hell yeah. So nice to have you here. We love to see it. We love to see it. It's just like the sweet and like the sweet heat with the jalapenos. The jalapenos is what really does it though. Like you, you have to add that. Honestly, I think it just elevates the Hawaiian pizza. Yo, Rose, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome on in. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm gonna break this actually. You go. And we'll add. Oh, I don't have another slab. Sad. Gotta get that. Your favorite toppings are pepperoni, bacon bits, Canadian bacon, jalapeno, and onions. Onions on pizza are so good. Oh my gosh. So good. Honestly, I like a green pepper on a pizza as well every once in a while. It's not like my always, like my go-to, but I really do enjoy like a veggie pizza. Whoops. Doesn't look right. Yo, Clam to Puss, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Mm. Something like that probably works. Don't know if I want this like elevated though. I kind of want this to look like it's almost off the beaten track. Or maybe I could do like a little overhang thing that goes into the garden. Okay, I changed my mind, chat. I changed my mind. Avocado toast. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Chat is making me so hungry. I'm eating slices of uh, challah bread. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. Beef pizza, like just straight up ground beef. Cause I like I like a cheeseburger pizza sometimes. Every once in a while, hit me up with the cheeseburger pizza. I'll eat it with like the it's got like cheddar cheese on top. Um, and there's something else. It's all, sometimes they put like a mac sauce on it. I used to go to this place in uh, Toronto. They I don't think they exist anymore. It's so sad. They had um 
a Big Mac pizza and they had their own special like Mac sauce that was like house made that they would put on it and it was like so good it was ridiculously good and it had like fake meat on it too it was really good you love my youtube videos oh thank you so much appreciate it you once had one that had barbecue jackfruit Ooh, that sounds interesting sounds like it would be like it would make the f the jackfruit taste like smoky i guess Breakfast pizza and taco pizza. I swear I remember you talking about a breakfast pizza before, and I've never had it. I I would be willing to try it. Like a fried egg on top of it would be probably really good. And taco pizza is also a good one. It's just like, I don't know, pizza is just like... It's such a vehicle for like so many flavors, you know what I mean? Like whatever you put on it, like it's usually not... Like it's a safe bet. I've had butter chicken pizza before and it's really good. Same with, I think, shawarma pizza as well. Shawarma pizza is amazing because you get the garlic sauce on it. Oh, so good. Chat, you're making me hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Big Mac pizza, the vegan place. Oh, it's called Apocalypse Now. I don't know if you remember that, Al. It was um, across the street from Christy Pitts. It's like long gone now though. They. They closed down quite a while ago. The stream's making you hungry for pizza. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the food chat, honestly. We're, we're always talking about it. Garlic sauce on anything and I'm sold. Dude, same. It's so good. We got shawarma the other night and literally I, ex I always add extra garlic sauce without fail. You have to. You have to. You remember, Al? Yeah, you do. Heck yeah. So good. I'm glad I ate lunch before joining the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good call, Mustard. That was a good call. I'm probably gonna have to have a snack after this stream before I, like, start working on some other stuff because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. This always happens with us, though, without fail. There's a good Detroit style pizza near you. You got to come over and eat with us. Heck yeah, I'm down. Definitely down for that. I just recently got on like the Detroit style. Like I can get behind it now. You know what I mean? Before I was like, I didn't like anything that was like either deep, sh deep dish or like close to that. And Detro Detroit style is kind of deep dish ish ish. No, it's not deep dish, but it's like a puffier crust. Didn't like that before, but now I do. I can get behind it now. Yo, Winter, what's going on? Welcome in. Oh, no, you found out you're allergic to soy. Oh, that's rough. Any food allergy is honestly very rough. I have um some family members who have, like, severe food allergies, and it's just, like, it's brutal. gonna fly out quickly see what this looks like oh yeah that looks kind of cool i like that yo mr folder thank you so much for that follow you want to try uh chicago style yeah i i feel like i need to like go to chicago to try the chicago style because my the times that i've had it like i don't think it was like a fair fair assessment of it Quad city style pizza is the in the Midwest is unbeatable. Wait, what's quad city style? Is it like a puffy or crust similar to Detroit? You love deep dish, a deep dish. Sorry, cheese stuffed crust too. Yo, cheese stuffed crust is amazing. I feel like that's kind of hard to find nowadays, unless you get it from like Domino's or something. I I, I swear that was like more of like a '90s thing, if anything. But it is. Very good. It's very rich, but hey, I'm here for it. Oh, we do have fencing. Lol. Wait, I need more leaves. More leaves, please. I'm getting so distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're talking about food and I'm like... <laughs> 
oh my gosh, yes, the Ethiopian food that we used to get all the time. So good. We have some like really good, um, like amazing Ethiopian restaurants downtown Toronto, like unbeatable. And me and online Al used to go get a bunch together. It was really good. I miss that. Oops. Just gotta break this. Boop. You can go to Giordano's or similar restaurants to get Chicago pizza. I don't think we have that um, in Canada. We, we're missing out on so many chains. We just got a Papa John's. Like, I would say maybe it's been five years that we've had Papa John's also. Oh, DiGiorno's too, though. DiGiorno's, we call it Delicio. I'm pretty, like, I'm like 99% sure that Delicio in Canada is the same as DiGiorno's in the States. They do all of like the crazy style pizzas. Like I, the other week, I not the other week, the other month, I saw they came out with like a croissant crust pizza, and I was like, okay, I don't know how I feel about that one, but also hilarious, love it. Like Delicio pizzas don't hold back; they just do whatever, and they're like, whatever. If it flops, like we just won't make it again. The pizza you got the other day had stuffed crust. Yes, so good. Literally, like. I don't know if decadent is the right word, but like just super rich and delicious. We used to be gremlins eating it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Anytime we like eat food, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's no talk. I don't know if other people are like this where you eat food and it's like no talking, only eating. And then afterwards you can talk. <laughs> That's a sign of like a true friendship friendship though, I think. <laughs> Is being able to go like full gremlin mode while eating. Let's break this guy really quickly. See how that looks. And boop. Yeah, I just wanted to hide that within the leaves. That looks better. Croissant crust, uh, meat lovers, DiGiorno is always in your freezer. Okay, now I need to try it. Now I need to try it because, like, I passed by it and I was like, ooh, I don't know about that one because you're right. Like, it's not even just, like, a cheese, like, a cheese and pepperoni. Like, they've got, like, the, the heavy flavors on it. Now I need to try it, Waxy. And I'll report back to you. It's flaky and buttery. That sounds... Okay, that's like... That sounds so good. Food in Minecraft. This is your new favorite stream. Aw. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, we talk a lot of food here. Like a, like a sickening amount. We're always talking about food. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good, chat. I actually really like how this area has turned out. We need to do a little bit of... um, Like, we're going to have to fix... Oh, no. I didn't mean to save a screenshot either but you can see like we got like random rough patches here that we're gonna have to fix up same with this we're gonna have to extend some coarse dirt around and stuff like that to make it look a little bit more organic but i think that's like a pretty good start for this area and you can kind of see where we're gonna go from here for this entire like strip of land like at least it looks a little bit more um put together now than it did earlier in the day like, even if we walk along here, at least we have a little bit more of a stony, a stone wall that we can look at rather than, like, grassland. It already is, like, such a big improvement, I think. It's looking so good. Because we spent a lot of time over here. And, like, it's just, like, you can't not see that sheep from, from, from a distance. So now that it looks like there's more of a build around there, it's looking really good, you know? You want pizza so bad now? Get it. Get the pizza. Do it food update for minecraft i would love a food update honestly being able to like make little pies and stuff like that would be amazing all right i feel like that's that's probably it for today's stream chat um 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna raid somebody first of all let me open up my little thing but i'm gonna try to be back tomorrow if i can't if i can't be back tomorrow i'll be back on friday for sure so keep that in mind uh i always post on on mine and blockdown's discord raid suggestions heck yeah what do, who we got who we got going going on right now let me open up my thing yeah throw out some uh suggestions for me ryan freshly mc heck yeah okay let's raid freshly mc he's doing a hardcore world he's like nearly full time on twitch right now too i'm pretty sure right so he's he's been um grinding away into in a hardcore world he was on one shot as well uh this season I didn't get to play with him though because I wasn't I wasn't able to make one shot this season. So yeah, let's uh throw some love over to Freshly MC. I'll let you all know if I'm streaming tomorrow. Um, probably in the Discord or on Twitter. You'll just get a notification. We're gonna set up a raid now for Freshly. Hold on a second, chat. Definitely, definitely go over. Show some love. Uh, can we get? Oops, not at raid. I am so new to Twitch still. Get that spamming in chat. Get that spamming in chat for reels. So let's do that. Let's get that little thing going. Everybody get your little infinite raids thing ready. Heck yeah. So we're going to raid freshly and I'll see you all soon. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This was the best day ever, as always. It's always the best day hanging out with you guys. Let's go show freshly some mad infinite drift love and i'll see you all very very soon thank you so much for today i had so much fun always the best time with you guys